people trolling message boards and gonna pay shells. That's my opinion, though. And you can completely disagree. <clears throat> you can, and when that's he okay. says that, oh, and that's okay. Shut up. He says that so much. But that's very much what uh, people in general are like these days. You know, this is my opinion. And you can disagree, and that's okay. Because I was watching that Jay Legend video, and it's just like, if you think Wano's fine, that's fine. A good, that's fine. You know, everybody's into. We all know we're all the time. But they also kind of have to say it because there's a bunch of stupid people. They like, shouldn't have to say it. They shouldn't have to. We all collectively, as a species, should just go, yes, when you speak on things that are not factual, it's not, you. it's strictly your opinion. And if I don't agree with it, that is also fine because it is my opinion. Instead of, are you trying to change my opinion? Don't do it. And, and the people who go right to that, it's like, shut up, address what I'm saying. Don't hit me with this opinion crap. Let's leave that completely out of this. I wonder with the people that's just like, uh, are you trying to change my opinion? You can't change my opinion, blah, 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 blah. What is their reasoning for going into a discussion? Just to get your opinion I, out there? No. And, okay, now I'm talking about it. Or well, you can't change it. So what was the point of even starting the discussion if the exchange of ideas does not lead to potential change or growth or regression of whatever your opinion is? Zero idea. Okay. I, I, I'm of the opinion now. I've been around long enough that I'm of the opinion that you can disagree with me and that's okay. You, 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 if you like that kind of page chill shit, go, go watch it. Go support it, man. If you like that kind of page shit. So, uh... No, they are page shields. And if you like it, you can watch it. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> so... Okay, let's say they are page shields. Are all page shields acting the same? It's, it's in a, he's putting everybody in a box. It's just, you, you pay are a shield. page shield, so you are this. But that's ridiculous. If he was if he was not game, then he'd be like, oh, all gamers, they're big, fat, sweaty, flies around them, basement dwell. He would generalize. I know, I know. <laughs> but he would generalize people to such a degree. Yeah, and, and I think that's part of the Phil's problem. He's so general with all his criticisms of fame. Mm -hmm. just like it's the worst and or best thing ever and everything surrounding it is best worst you're a shield because hashtag ad well like i paid for advertising i see finn gal gadot doing in paid advertisement is she a shield she's a bad actress um no she's okay when she's not doing her did you see the champagne clip no and i can't do not bring it up it is on the like bottom five I've ever heard of a line read. I don't see how that's possible. I'm like, that was, that was the, did y'all have her for that one line? Maybe. And she forgot her glasses. So she was just like, just tell it to me. And she wasn't even listening. What were the circumstances behind that horrible line? Okay. I'm definitely going to have to. But she sounds fine in um, the new uh, Agatha, Agatha Christie one, Death on the Nile. She sounds fine in it. I, I I love Murder on the Orient Express, so I'm, I don't want to have to pull it up for you. I do. Please don't. I don't want to have. to. Please don't. Stop you anyway. But I'm telling you, just like with Fortnite, just like with GTA Online. No, you're going with this slippery slope stuff. These a uh, uh, GTA is going to grind way down in its release schedule because it takes so much longer to make games and so much more money and so much more resources. It's not like uh in the PS2 days where it was mostly an asset flip and they just changed a few things mm -hmm. around and you're good. It takes and and the in blocky textures. It takes tremendous work to make a triple a quote-unquote video game these days plus they're coming off the backs of one of the most successful games of all time so people are going to expect that same level of quality if not higher so now you got to be like okay now we got to do this plus we got to try to innovate in some way and again 
uh, Fortnite, uh, there's Battle Royale. Okay, it's every shooter that's come out had a Battle Royale. No, Halo doesn't. Ha uh, is every game trying to fit some type of Battle Royale thing into it? No, fighting games still exist absent of Battle Royale bullshit. There's innovations within the Battle Royale space because if a Battle Royale type system didn't exist, I don't know if we get stuff like Fall Guys. I don't know if we get stuff like Knockout City. I don't think we get stuff like uh, that wrestling game that's a big Battle Royale type thing. I don't know if we get these types of games without the advent of Battle Royales and massively players all in one space competing to be the ultimate winner of something. So just to say, oh, for the Battle Royale, yeah, there's of course there's things that's just going to try to shoehorn in a Battle Royale. But people love uh, Call of Duty Warzone, so is it worse off because now it has a, a Battle Royale or not? They, like, they tried to tack on Battle Royale for Battlefield, didn't work, so now they go into a different way. And, and it sucks because, you know, they, they rushed it out so quickly. Uh, but that doesn't mean that everything is now going to be Battle Royale, Phil. Yeesh. And one of the worst things is... He was somebody asked him like, "Hey, how, what what could be improved for Street Fighter 6? And he's like, "I'm not on Capcom, but what I would do is I would go back to the fundamentals. Go back. What to is the fundamentals? Street Fighter 2 Turbo. And it's just like, so you just want all games to just be like that one game? Yeah, no, Manfield? I was good in that game. <laughs> I recognize the things in that game that make me good. Just implement them into new games. So I can be just be good at all the games. And I it's did, horrendous. He, I'm like, shut the f up. It's very much like people that would be talking about the NRS games and the way they animate. And just like, look at that animation. And when you ask them what do they mean, they can't really explain it. They're just like, it's just not good. Mm -hmm. And it's for Phil, it's just like, what is bad about Street Fighter V, Phil? Or what would in Street Fighter VI make it good? Fundamentals. Cool, Phil. Cool. Footsies. Oh, God. Street Fighter V has footsies. Almost all games have, almost fighting games have some form of footsies. It's just not the thing, uh, Play-Doh footsies that you just put on top of your Street Fighter knowledge of footsies. Marvel vs. Capcom has footsies. The f are you talking about? Dude. He thinks that he could just say that and just be like, I'm right. They got it. They're not going to question me. And the people that are going to be questioning me, lean in, get the f out of here. And the thing I hate about uh, what Phil is saying in the realm of Street Fighter is that he's like, you know, uh, these players are just making Street Fighter popular. They're just keeping it in the avid because all they want is Street Fighter. All they can do is Street Fighter. Phil, you refuse to play Guilty Gear. You refuse to play some of these other fighting games to find if you would fi want a mm. different fighting game. But you will be there day one for Street Fighter Six. Absolutely. Day one, Just Phil. to complain about it. Just to cry about it. But if it's back, to, even if it was back to like it was in Super Street Fighter Two Turbo, if he's not doing well, he's still going to cry. It happens to an industry. All right, the industry of content creation. You're gonna end up with a bunch of people with millions of subs, th hundreds of thousands of views on everything they do, but everything they do is crap. Pause, we, are you saying that everything that everybody does over a million subs is crap? You is anybody that it? has a hashtag ad or sponsorship just crap? That's just crap. You keep supporting these people that are crap, all you're gonna get is more crap. So you just saying that people are just crap out there. And what does crap mean? Not what you particularly enjoy? Not your particular style of thing? Harming people, harm, dumb pranks? What is it just humor that you don't particularly like? Sexual stuff? Uh, propagating stereotypes? Because all you're doing is uh, slotting all these million sub people into the same thing. Like the second it goes from 999999 to 1 million, they've lost all their originality and creativity and passion, and now it's just putting out crap content for the people that are already setting their ways to watch the content. And even if there are a bunch of people over a million sub doing just objective crap, there's always going to be those 100,000, 150,000, 200, 600,000 people that are doing legitimately good stuff. There's always going to be crap people absent of if it's just a cycle of, hey, let's do this one thing and, and let's all prop, profit from it. There's always going to be those people and there's always just going to be the people that are just like, hey, let's have some fun.
Even if they do have uh, ads and crap, even though that's already a negative for Phil. Yeah. Even if they do have ads and stuff, there's always going to... Like you said, I just, what is what is crap for him? What is crap for you? Is it is it just all the Jake Pauls and the pranks? And I the, honestly and the think PewDiePie? it's a lot of the safer type of stuff where people are just acting wacky and they're not doing anything edgy. Phil wants to be wants people to be more down to earth and themselves, oh my while goodness. also spewing out the word Jews. But he doesn't. He said that he doesn't watch anybody or anything on YouTube. He said this multiple times. So why is he the judge of crap? Where? How much media consumption has he had in the space of online content creators to judge what is and what isn't crap? How many million plus subs people has he watched to be like, ah, oh, it's just all crap to judge them? So the movie critics, the the songwriters, people just doing dumb fun stuff with their friends, they're the, all in the same. Bubble the political, of crap. the co- political sphere of YouTube with leftists and, and right, like right wing people, are are all of them just creating crap content? Because they're all just paid shields that you supported because you just supported Oh them. my goodness, they're all just paid shields. They're all gonna be crap because they're all paid shields does because Phil, you supported them. Does Phil believe that every game a online content creator gets is just gonna be an advertisement now? And that's where it's heading. Because State of Decade 2 four years ago had a bunch of people. Because Walmart is like, hey, uh, I and some content creators like I got all this stuff at Walmart. Oh, every stream just gonna be on hashtag ad for that game. Call of Duty, act, they're all just gonna buy all content creators hashtag ad. You gotta say nice things. But even if it is Phil, there's a it, most people have a little dumb Raycon ad in there, and and then that's it. And I don't have to watch that ad. But I know that they got it. I know that my view means something to them. And to Raycon, because they get to see the engagement and the viewership. What does it matter if they put in a 45-second ad in content that I like? Does that instantly start meaning crap because they are a paid shield now? Who cares if some person on on Twitter is doing... 98% 98% stuff that they want to talk about in the game sphere, other content creators, whatever. And then the 2%, they get some sponsorship uh, tweet. And then that feels like, well, they're just useless now. Block. Block. I, I do. Block. Who has to have the block? Oh like he's doing something. Like, they're losing something. Like, and Elon Musk just blocked you. You don't mean <laughs> nothing, Phil. Because they're all just paid shills that you supported because you just supported them because they were popular. Not because they put out something good. But if you, you, do, how, oh my. you don't know why a person supports another person. Okay, so let's say, Phil, you, personally, do you think you put out good content? If yes, that means you think your fans think you put out good content, correct? So... All the views you get are content. Now, let's say everything in your metrics goes up a hundredfold. Will you still feel the exact same way? Or would you go, dang, I'm super popular. I guess I'm just a shill now. <laughs> I guess I'm not putting I guess out- people are just liking me because I'm popular, not because of what anything I'm doing is good or entertaining. How, do you- what is this threshold that he just slots? Now he's slotting all these fans, millions of people, since they've got millions of subs. People can't find people just generally entertaining and like them. No, it has to be because they're popular. Now, you do get eyes on you because you're popular. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm more willing to watch somebody who has, like, 100,000 subscribers as opposed to somebody like 13 subscribers. But that doesn't mean automatically that they're crap, that, they're, that their stuff is not good. Yeah, that I mean that the 13 sub subscriber isn't better than 100,000. I won't run away from a 13 sub content creator. Uh, if their video looks like something interesting, I'll f- and click on it. I've clicked on videos where it's got 200 views. I've said don't recommend this channel for people that have had 3 million subscribers because I just don't want to watch that content. It means nothing. It's what I personally am interested in. I don't care how popular or unpopular you are. 
Just make content I think is good. And if these people think that content is good so much that they keep you? supporting and coming back. Who is he to just deride them as you're not watching because they're good? Because they're all crap. <laughs> You're watching because they're popular and they're shields. I would so love you're just giving them money. I would love to be in chat and be like, "Who are you talking about, Phil?" Oh, you know, just some people. You what? Know, I don't really watch anybody. He would. He, he's not gonna address that. You would have to send him money, and buy, and then he would just be like, "I'm not gonna name names." And that's the most. That's one of the most disgusting things about Phil. He has at any given time twenty people in his chat, and yet he will actively ignore messages coming through unless it's derailing the stream because you're talking about not the exact video game he's playing or Kanye or a uh, thing Phil himself or it, it's just ignored until you give money ah uh, you said blah 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 hit another t dollar tip you said or, blah 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 or is Derek or is Derek <laughs> <laughs> because you look at it like like look at this chat right now uh Carlos would not get his stuff read unless he gave a dollar. And he wouldn't get his reply read unless he gave another dollar. And that's how Phil yeah. operates. It's such disgusting stuff. Now, I understand that you can't read every single thing every chatter ever says. But you can give a good general uh, interaction with the people that are chatting to you by going, Ah, they said this. That's pretty funny. No, what do you mean by that? Oh, no, I disagree, blah, 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 blah. Have a discussion with them so it feels like you guys are talking to each other instead of someone putting a penny in a fortune teller machine and expecting an answer. And and it, this chat is just going and going, and he's just talking and talking, not addressing anybody. Until, until Lenny Emanuel Ben yeah. of Phil Hayes Black. <laughs> and then he'll, he'll notice that, but he's just like, no, I just got to say that you guys don't like popular people because they're good and you like them because they're popular and you're stupid because of it and they suck because they're just shills. Only us down here are the real ones. The moment that someone tells you your time's not valuable, you're just someone to be advertised to is the moment you should close it. Bye. Who says your time is not valuable? You can see hashtag ad and go, okay, that's just a sponsored tweet and move on with your day. I'm sorry. I don't think four seconds of my day is as valuable as you would uh, and throw out, Phil. I don't think that somebody advertising a game for a stream is is as as little value as Phil thinks that it is. Because if I'm like, oh, I'm not interested, I'm just not going to watch. I'm not going to be again, like, oh, he four thinks... seconds of your cognition just going, oh, that's an ad that doesn't look interesting. Moving on. No, but for Phil, it's like, hey, this person thinks that my time is not worth something. Let me never watch this person again because they're doing a single gameplay stream. Because they're doing a tweet with hashtag ad what in is it. What's this mindset? This dude is in, and you know what this is? It's because he doesn't talk to anybody. Because nobody is there to be like, Phil, that is stupid. Yeah, he has no friends. He has no. He has no. He, he has no yes or no man. Outside of his stream, of course. His stream is There's all yes, nobody man. to physically just go, that is the dumbest. There is nobody to text Ex Phil to go, what are that. you doing? Who are you talking about, Phil? And you can't run away from somebody face to face. Who are you talking about? Mm -mm. And you and if you just continue to just go, oh, Ninja, PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye, Mark the Bot. It's like, oh, you're just talking about the biggest people. And, and how again, much have you how, watched How them? much of their content have you watched? How much is their content is the pay shield stuff versus just normal gameplay stuff? Is it just that one, one single gameplay stream of, hey, this is sponsored equals pay shield? They're thinking that your time is not valuable. Close it out. What is your mindset? That's his biggest problem. I'm just now thinking about this. There is no one to bounce off of him. I and he's just and he's just putting out his opinions. It's go, you can ag agree or disagree. And there's no challenge. So he's he's just going to say whatever the f he wants. Challenge list and, j and just continue down this road of just complete and this, uh, this horrible boonery. mindset. Of just all y'all pay shields. Nobody's watching stuff because they enter, they're they entertained if you're over a million or whatever. It's all just shields. 
I'll tell I'll tell Phil exactly what the type of pay shield he's afraid of that's going on. And that's the casino market of uh Twitch, where it's just like we're paying someone and rigging the results so it looks like you're winning more, you're doing more yeah. to incentivize the audience was, to put their own money there into was it. Something like that with a uh, YouTuber by the name of Rice Gum where um Oh, I know you about would, Rice Gum. You would go in there I don't I really, I only know about it because of um, people I watch, like uh, some ordinary gamers stuff mm-hmm. like that. But he had this. Um, he and a bunch of other people. They had like this loot box thing where you would pay, put money in, open a box, and then if you didn't want it, you could sell it back and then yep, make more I money. Remember that. And that's like, and he was just like, "Hey, I put in a hundred dollars. I got these shoes. I got this iPad. I got this, this, this. I made a hundred thousand dollars." And it's like, oh, ugh. and then people went on there like this. I got a in a iPhone stand case worth the dollar, and I've been pay, I paid a hundred dollars. This thing is worth sixty nine cents, <laughs> and I think that site got shut down. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so yeah, that's the type of pay shield stuff you you don't want. That's, well, that's the your problem. Break. Those are the problem. Not some Walmart ad in a tweet. That is just a tweet that you don't have to engage with. Not when the new Call of Duty is coming out, and some people get in the beta a week early. With hashtag ad. When when I see somebody that I like getting ads and stuff, I'm like, good for them. That is make your money. I like you. Make your sh- This is a good thing for you. I'm happy that you're getting recognition, a little bit of money for this. I'm happy for that because I like you. I'm not going to. Oh, my goodness. I never, I never, in the beginning, middle, or end of a video, when somebody has an ad, roll my eyes and go, oh my god, I hate ad. I'll either watch the ad, because I'm either far away from the computer, or it sounds like something interesting, or I'll just go forward just a couple of times it. until it's over. That's it. That's it. I never am hurt by someone putting an ad in it. Like when I watch Todd in the Shadow, I'm not hurt by him talking about Skillshare. Even even go back to our revisited with like Mark. We're not like, oh my goodness. We're just like, nah, we're just not All watching right, yep, it. Skip time. Yes. Yeah, we're never like, oh, Mark, you f- no. how dare you with we, your We ads. do it for Ray Shadow Legends. because yeah, I, I, think- I don't like Ray. Yeah, I don't like Ray personally. But everything else, when Mark does it, Mark did that Raycon thing and we called Chris in. was like, how are Raycons? Oh, yeah, I like them. They're pretty good. Okay, cool. Yeah. Bye. We would not sit here and just go off Mark for getting Raycon money. Get your money. Get your money. That's got nothing to do with me. And it's got nothing to do with devaluing your content. If anything else, it may legitimize it because you're clearly getting paid for something because they think your engagement, your viewers, whatever is big enough to want to throw money at you so you advertise their thing. It's I, unbelievable his mindset. He, he needs sucked. he needs somebody to talk to that's not Cat. Or if Cat was better. Or if she was better. If she if he cared about what was going on. Cause this is this is unhealthy. You can't just have your mindset unchallenged forever and just spew it out and just go, yeah, I'm right, moving on. Or or it's just my opinion. You can disagree, but I'm not. I'm not gonna be challenged on this. Nobody. Yeah, you can send your dumb super chat. Yeah, you can you can spam and chat, but I'm not gonna back down on this. I know these people. I see these people. I'm not gonna name these people, but they're out there, and I don't agree with what they're doing, and and I don't agree with people watching them. This is horrible. Never coming back, and that's that. That's all I have to say. All right, let's do shout outs. Pause. Mm. That's all I have to say. 22 minutes left. I think this is Walmart stuff, though. <laughs> so. it, it also could be, hopefully, people challenging him. Let's see here. We've got Need for Beans into the first super chat of the Okay, so here's part of the problem. His chat has been going since this thing started. Shout out. Those are what he's acknowledging. Yep. yep. Not, hey, let's see what you guys think. Day. Thank you very much, Need for Beans. Zoya did a super chat and said, Craig failed. You got to evolve to survive like me and you. Craig definitely changed a lot over the years. Now, again, I haven't followed the guy. I'm sorry, we're talking about stuttering Craig again. I didn't follow the guy from the very beginning. 
I don't know the true story of the ins and outs of if he had falling out. I don't understand why he would have ever left Screw Attack or sold Screw Attack and then made Game Attack and then left Game Attack. I don't know. All I know is I... Surely there had to be an interview or something. Well, he doesn't care. But if, he doesn't if care. you care enough to talk about it, Yeah, him, because he personally did something for me once. But surely you would, no. would want to check in on no. your old... No. Mm-mm. Yeah, I guess not. Nope. <laughs> All these people that uh, get called out for this... Who did he call out? Pro Jared. Why? Because he talked about Phil once. And now here I come. Epic tweet time. Bigger names called out than Pro Jared. Smash community in shambles. No words. Pro Jared, cause me. So this guy, cause me. Oh my goodness. Because if it was the other guys that screw attack, why well, he wouldn't say? Why? I don't know them. I don't know. They them. don't know it's me. Got nothing to do with and me. And it's got nothing to do with oh, me. But this goodness. personally, I can tie it back into Dark Side feel. So it's important to my stream. And then I remember this when two best friends broke up. He and somebody uh, mentioned him. He was like, "I know I don't know anything about them. I just know that they made fun of me." I'm like, "Phil, you don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to be this way." <laughs> I know the guy's incredibly dedicated and a hard worker, and I was sad. To How do you know if you don't know anything about him in the past like five years? How do you not know he's not up. one of those million subscribers? How do you know shields? that he didn't go into shield mode? That he didn't just. How do you regress? know he's no longer? He's not putting out crap content. Because you don't watch. You don't pay attention. Phil, do you understand the problem here? But because he did something nice for you nine years ago, ten years ago, ten years, ten years and ago, on the dot. That means, oh, well, he was a good guy and he was passionate and making and doing all oh this hard work. Oh, my goodness. Have an interaction with Phil. Never talk him. And when you retire, he's going to throw you a parade. Because it's got something to do with him. Once Tobuska uh, in retires, guess what? Hey, me. There was this time that I and his ass were on my, and I contacted him, and he and he backed down, and he apologized profusely. <laughs> you gotta add profusely. <laughs> That's all I can say. Gorilla Pimp did a Super Jaisers do a top 10 worst things that happened video. No. No, because like I said, the moment that you... Uh, give the Whoa, what was that? He had no clue what he was what saying. What was that? I feel like he 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 was going into his field mode of just say the first thing that camp comes to mind, but he realized that that would not play right. So he went, uh, when you look to the right for for a, a second or two, that was no, what like happened. I said, the moment that you. Uh, give these people attention for the dude. I'm telling you, he had something else he wanted to say, and he stopped because he stared at the camera for like two seconds, looked off to the side for a second, then looked That's down and went, "Uh." That's a direction you don't see him look at often. Something was going on there. No, there's nothing over no, there, Phil. Like the moment that you uh, give these people attention, dude. Oh, dude, he was he was about to say something. <laughs> For the things they've done, that's what they want. You know? Phil, you constantly call out the trolls and all the things they've done and this is how you don't plays and all this other stuff. You're always calling mm -hmm. them out. He had trolls over on Kiwi farts. Tevin, when he was still doing the Phil stuff, now it's just you know who because you don't know exactly anybody's name. You You do this, Phil. You do this. People have said forever, ignore the trolls. If you weren't, if you were to read a super chat and go, uh, blank says, oh no, that's a troll. Delete it. No. Even though a couple years ago, you just went, I'm not going to dress anymore. I'm just going to ban. And you just went back on that probably the same day, knowing you probably the same stream. <laughs> understand that, you know, the reason that people do nasty things is because they want attention for doing something nasty. 
they want to feel like there's recognition or they had an impact on someone in some way. They don't care if it's a positive or negative impact. They just want an impact on someone's life. And the, the moment they feel that they've had that impact. Phil, just this stream, you brought up somebody taking a, a picture of you in a mall. Just this stream, you've talked about all this stuff that people have mm -hmm. done to you. You've talked recently about the bank documents leaking. You've talked constantly about the WWE Champions thing and the mobile account and why you can't show it off. Phil, you locked down your Twitter because of these people. Is that not the ultimate form of uh, recognition? I can't believe he did that. I can. He's a coward. You know what? I can because he did that on YouTube until, hey, now it benefits me. So open that back Now up. it benefits me. And there's tools for me to instantly just like, no. Because I remember uh, so many of those, this how you don't play comments, marked as spam. When it's just like, Phil, you idiot. You did this. And that was the dumbest thing you could have thought. Oh, spam. But just to try gets, to hide it. He gets no benefit from, from Twitter, so hey, lock it down. Lock I'll say what I down. want. And um you guys can't oh, you can quote retweet me and basically get the same results. And there's But no, now people can see retweets and quote retweets. So now it looks like his his thing his, is, is popping is off. It's popping. That now they feel enabled to do more. That's why you don't. Do they do more anyway. Yes. What did you do before the bank documents? That were just like, oh, Phil's giving us attention. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Do that kind of shit. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see here. <laughs> Grill him to the super dance. You're not strong enough. Go bench 450 pounds. I don't know about that. I don't think that's the kind of strength we were talking about. I think we were talking more about mental and uh emotional fortitude being able to do his setup is the worst it's repugnant stream chat to the left <laughs> changing things on the chat to the right having to still <laughs> look at stream chat while you're typing so your hand is basically at a 45 degree at turn it's it can be fixed it can be changed. It's not even that it can be fixed. People have outlined great yeah. way. I mean, yeah. drawn up the map to fix this. But he is he is just so set in his ways. And he's just swiveling and cranking his neck. And I feel, is this okay? Is this, come, come, my goodness. I'm talking more about mental and. Uh... Look at this. Uncomfortable. Why would you purposely have an outline like this? Why with the choice, with the money you have, let, let's stop with the champions. With the money you have, you can outline that in room in any way you want it. Why would you do it in the most painful, uncomfortable way? For so long. For so long with no fix in sight. No change in Nothing. sight. I swear he, just, he did it one day. It was just like, that's it for life. Yeah, this is fine. This is just the way it is now. Emotion. Look at this! Bro, I cannot. He's literally looking behind him. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous moves. Emotional fortitude. Being able to put up with the stress of the shit that I've been through. Phil. The things you've been through have been minuscule compared to what other people have been through. So and don't... you have your big stuff. And you have your big stuff. And the fact that there's people quitting from content creation who haven't been through a, a hundredth of what I do. <laughs> oh my goodness. And with a laugh. You see, this man is a this, monster. Oh, he's a fucking monster. I In inside and out. <laughs> Why would he say stuff like that? Because he, he doesn't thinks, know. He, he thinks he's the strongest man out there. Just like, look at all the harassment I get. I'm still pushing forward. I'm still positive and pu and pumping they my have, fist. They've, done a, they've gone through a hundredth of what I've gone through and they quit. You don't know, Phil. You don't keep tabs on people. We know this. You've said this. You just getting secondhand information and some dumb tweets, and you're just like, oh, that's all they're getting? 
No. Or what I've been through, I should say, you know. And to them, oh, oh, woe is me. Me and my million subs and all the money. Oops. Always boomerang back to money. Yeah. That's, it's, as money much as Phil was. and solves everything in Phil's mind. Again, if Phil had 10 times what he currently makes, what would his arguments be? What would he have problems with for content creators? That they're still just I, making no, more? I'm in the same position that you are. Why aren't you doing things like I'm doing them? I'm doing them the right way. I'm still, I'm, I still have this underdog mentality. You guys aren't hungry anymore. You're too set in your ways. I'm always changing. He's not. Barely changes his shirts. He's always planning changes and never implementing them. Yes. I can plan a thousand series <laughs> if I don't get one off the ground. What does that mean? Well, um, there's a psychological thing where um, if you tell somebody your plan or what you're going to do and they congratulate you, it's the same feeling that you get is as if you actually did it. Really? That's, yeah. Humans are so, weird. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a very weird thing. So Phil like, getting a bunch wow. of ass pats just like... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about doing green screen. Whoa. Wow, Phil, that's really good. And you get the same endorphin rush as if you actually did it, and thus your willingness to do it goes down. That's stupid. It's it's a weird psychology thing. It's very interesting. I saw a video on it. I was like, wow. And I was thinking, like, has that ever happened to me? I was like, yeah, I think it has. I think it has happened for everybody. Yeah. Like, yeah, but I. I I would worry too much about the disappointment of people afterwards if that's the case. If someone just like, I I'm doing it. Oh, congratulations. And I'm just like, oh, no. They're going to ask in the future how it's going and I'm going to have nothing. <laughs> so it will push me to want to do it. <laughs> on YouTube. Um, oh, boo-hoo. Uh, cry, cry, cry. Boo-hoo, cry, cry, cry. Woe is me. But if people talk about you, Phil... It's boo-hoo, woe is me, cry, cry, cry. If people You almost got me killed. Yes, you. Uh, they're not going through a hundredth of what I do. You know, how do you how do you navigate this? How you don't play? It's because I was the first to get harassed like this. Okay, so Phil goes... Um, they're not going through a hundredth of what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. what, let's let's take the lower level stuff that he complains about. Let's take the whole hey my f in headphones the the Amazon driver done done poached me and drove away and he stole and I complained. Are we allowed to go boo hoo cry cry cry? No, because this is a lower level thing, Phil. This is this is insignificant. What was that? Yeah, did something just pop up for a hot second? It most certainly did. You getting hacked? <laughs> But, Must be. <laughs> but this is lower level. Boo hoo, cry, cry, cry. Can we say that with your lower level things that are insignificant? Because you're going, they're quitting for insignificant things. You're complaining about insignificant things. Are we justified in going boo hoo, cry, cry, cry? Or is it just insta ban? Yeah. Are we supposed to go boo hoo, cry, cry, cry when, you're, when your shower breaks? And you got to pay money for a plumber and it might be $1,000. Can we go in your stream chat and just go boo hoo cry cry cry, or can we go on Twitter and go dark side Phil said this boo hoo cry cry cry, and not get blocked? What a piece of! Sh I gotta quit. Okay, sure. You really had passion for what you were fucking doing, right? That's why you're quitting. All right. H bomb is the first tipper of the day, and says, uh. Being a variety streamer, I'm curious if there's franchises you won't play or just don't like, excluding sports games. Happy New Year. Um, hmm. Like a particular, a particular franchise that I refuse outright to play. Yes. Um, <laughs> That's what he's I saying. find it hard to just outright refuse to do something unless I've actually tried it. Um, unless there's a... Phil, you've said so many times that blank blank looks like hot garbage. It doesn't look good. Blah, blah, blah. You you refuse to play Minecraft. Yep. Refuse. Actively refuse. 
for no reason other than, hey, I just don't want these people, all this game, all this other. Hey, bullish. maybe he brings it up. Just from my viewership that it's just not worth my time. Personally, no. Like, I'm trying to think in my head, is there anything that's popping what in mind? That, like, no, it's completely off limits. Be and I just, What's this I whole won't even whole try. Whole? Well, I'll give you an example. Everyone said, oh, well, he won't play um, Code Vein. The reason I won't play Code Vein is because I played Code Vein. Which a lot of people don't want to admit. I played it. I played the beta. And the beta was a very anime-ish, washed out Dark Souls. It just didn't have anything really unique to it. Um, the main stage was kind of boring and easy. And then the challenge stage Pause. was way too Okay. What about all the games that are remakes that you play? What about all the redemption runs? You say it's nothing unique, but you're actively playing something that you've already played. Oh, bruh. This man has played through, like, San Andreas. Like, he said it was, like, it's fourth or fifth Legit! time. Legit! How many more can you do? Why is that okay? What's unique about four times playing GTA? Hey, we want you to play this. I don't want to play this. No, my fans didn't want it. And there's nothing fun about it. And I know that if I played it, the game would just be a boring grind and not very entertaining. No, you, you got that off of in challenge maps in a beta. Yes. You don't know what it would be unless you actually play it. Yet people want me to play it because there's anime boobs in it. That's what it is. It's anime boobs. Is you that why people want you to play it? Is that the only reason? Or is it because they know that it's a Dark, uh, dark Souls-like game? And people like watching people play Dark Souls like games. Oh, enemy boobies. When people react to the boobies, I don't care. It's a waste. Of, I know it would be a waste of time, so I won't play. I did play the beta. I knew it was bad. Based on. Oh well, uh, yeah, why would you ever play a sequel? What was unique about the uh, the further Dong and Rampa games? What was unique about the other Phoenix Wright games? What's unique about playing Street Fighter every Friday? On that, um. Outside of that, I'm just trying to think, are there any franchises I outright have denied and said I would never play? Oh, I can't really think of anything at the top of my mind. But luckily, my viewers would remember better than me. Okay? Oh, let's see here. That is, that's something interesting I want to bring up because Phil is just going off and this is trash. Um, fans really remember the things you say and do way more than you do. So many times, just like, did I say that? Did, did yeah. he say that? Like, This is a weird thing that you say it, and it's just gone. You don't think about it or yeah. anything. These people have to digest it, think about it, remember it. And if it's something that sticks with them, a line that sticks with them that they find particularly funny or insightful or dumb, that they'll, they'll remember it. And uh, we won't because we're just saying it, and it's just gone. Yeah, it's here and gone. I think that's part of what it is. When you're doing, um, when you're doing live stuff where it's just off the cuff, reactionary stuff it's just like it has to be gone it has to be here and gone because you gotta get ready for the next thing what's the point of remembering a joke i said on the second field video mm -hmm. out of five like what's the what's it gonna do for me but other people might just be like oh that was great so yeah i just find it like woof that's some interesting dsp the player hater tipped a dollar fifty and said stop hating the player hate the game these people were just like you before they blew up. They just adapted. Well, here's the thing. And you, I, I actually agree with you. You just said for the hour that they trash. How do you, what do you agree with? <laughs> what part of it does No, you... but they changed and I didn't change. As I said. I didn't adapt. I, I adapted in my own way. On my own terms. On my own terms. Yeah, they were already hey. on direct capture and stuff. I was just like, I want to do it this way. But then you guys went do it this way. And I went, you know what? Maybe you're right. And I'm happy that I did. I'm doing it my way. Now, this is just my opinion. You can disagree if you do. Shut up. <laughs> what would happen? Like, Phil should try. Well, he can't get sponsorships anymore. So I was about to say he should try getting them and just see what it is and what the reaction is and and so you have some type of insight into it instead of just looking on the outside of jealousy, just like, and blah. Ugh. Man, just remember, and this man legitimately just pointed a camera at his screen and oh, just yeah. went, 
for so long now, after it was so accessible. Now, after, that's when it was a problem. Yes. In the before, before, day, before time A, whatever. You do what you do. It, it was like $800 for Captain yeah. Software and it only worked on a computer or some. Sh- but when it becomes so accessible, he's just like, no, I want to do this. I want to lay back. I want my surround sound. I don't want to be hunched up in front of a little computer like he did so many times. I f- and hate what he did at that. What he did at that. But he just, for all that time, just like, no, this is good. My quality looks just as good as all these other people when it didn't. And then he's like, uh, the only thing that really hurt with direct cat, I'm sure, is just like, people are like, the mic audio isn't as good. Mother- and sometimes when it's dark, I have to brighten it. It's like, no. Dude, your, your camera darkened so many things. You couldn't see <laughs> There's some, this is how you don't play. I'm like, the f- is going on here? It's horrible. Doesn't seem to be, at least when I did it, there was no playbook. There was no Phil, historic- you keep saying this. Is there a playbook now, Phil? Yeah, absolutely not. I don't know what the f- Markiplier did to get so big. I don't know what he does to re- stay with his popularity. I don't know what he does behind the scenes to grow his money, to cultivate an uh, uh, audience. Oh, where's his playbook so I can also follow suit and get million subscriber blue check mark? The H Bomber guy is just a funny guy that makes some really good videos. So is that the playbook? Be funny and just do good? Is it just that It easy? can be because you look at somebody like Folding Ideas with the NFT video. It's not comical very much. It's just mostly straightforward data for two hours. It blew the f- up, didn't it? I don't know. What's the playbook? What do we do? What's the playbook? What do we do? What's the roadmap? Who is the gamer that I should be like, all right, follow what they did? Who's the movie reviewer where I should be like, follow what they did? ...to follow how to do this right. As a content creator that's becoming popular, how do you behave? How do you conduct yourself? What do you? What opportunities do you take? What do you turn down? None of that existed. There was no history to follow of someone doing it to know what's good and what's bad. What I would or urge, what what do you mean? There's no history to follow to see what's good and what's bad. He means that because he was one of the first ever that made it real, real popular. People can then follow suit of what Dark Side Field did instead but of Dark Side instead Field. of somebody bad like PewDiePie. It's just no, going no, over here for. He's saying that there's a outlined playbook now because there's so many content creators. You know what to how to act, how to move to become popular in that space because you could just do what they did. Whereas when it was just dark side no, field, I'm focusing on the good and bad. Oh, oh, oh! Because now you have to qualify what's good and bad and just Phil go PewDiePie. I know which one I would want to be. I mean, I mean, come Phil, on now. Phil's existence would be fine if he changed like three things in his life. But his not- house would be paid off if he if he changed three <laughs> things in his life. Can't do it. Impossible. Hey, four hundred dollars. Maybe you don't. Week. Can't maybe do you don't need two internet lines. Maybe. Nah. <laughs> Just yeah, maybe. We do. Yeah, we do. But even now, it's not like you you get a green screen and you go on Twitch and you get some lights and you dye your hair. You instantly get 100,000 people. That's not... Yeah, yet. I've seen people that have been affiliate for like three years. They're grinding it out at, uh, in three, four streams a week to an audience of like 40 people. Yeah, it's not... There is no roadmap even now. There's nothing. Hey, you uh, hop on a popular game, maybe some you'll get some eyes. But there's not a you do this, you become popular. Uh, you know, there's so many VTubers. How many are blowing up? There, I I watch the biggest. I watch the smallest. I'm like some of these people down here are even better than some of the people up here. Popularity it, it, it just is what it is. Is honestly, eighty percent luck. It. Psh. I don't mean that gradual, you've been at this for seven years and you've got 35,000 subscribers. That's that slow. No, I mean, it's, when it's, you uh, f- uh, you were making 13K 
of views per video and then all of a sudden you're making 400k you per view. You get a view. video that hits the algorithm. You you get a tweet that just you get retweeted and then people will start to check your stuff out. Somebody shouts you out. Anything. It's it's a lot of luck. It's a f- ton of luck. It's it's getting the eyes on you but then it's just getting people to stay with you. Yes, that's the thing. Getting a lot of eyes on you is luck. Uh getting eyes on you it might not necessarily be luck. You could just do a little push. You can get two eyes on you and one of them stays. That That's possible. Getting a lot of eyes on you is in luck. And after that, you have to be good. Because if you're not good, you're going to lose 50% of them off rip. 80% of them off rip. Like all those streams where you're like, we've got a big viewership here today because of the Microsoft acquisition of Activision Blizzard. How many stayed, Phil? How many new members did you get, Phil? How many came back the next day? You worked good for them, Phil. So they left. You keep saying, hey, I want to get to 200,000 before my birthday. And your subs aren't going up like that. You have to ask yourself, why not? It's not just, hey, like my videos so they show up higher. It's, I need people to come here, stay here, and then maybe tell a friend about me. Hey, remember back in the day when he was doing like 1,200 viewers a stream? And now it's just like 180, 220? What happened, Phil? Why did people leave? Why aren't more people, new people coming? And staying. Because once you do get the eyeballs on you, you realize they realize that you're not worth continuing with. You've got to be good on top of it. Now, whatever the space of good is, it's whatever. Because you got a lot of these gurus on YouTube. I'm betting big at Vegas and I make all this money and you can do it too. And they're getting a million views. They're quote unquote good in that space. Even if they aren't good. So whatever your uh, preference of good is, you have to be that for the viewer. And Phil, you're just not. No. You are not interesting to watch Raw. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't tell you the last time I've seen 40 minutes of Raw field gameplay. Yeah. I, I mostly stick around for the pre-streams and then I... Bounce. Bounce. Because I can listen to him talk about nothing for an hour and a half. Yeah, but the second he has to gold dust. But in the game, it's just like. <laughs> so, Say what's on the screen. Oh, this we got to do. We got to collect three of those that's, green things. Okay. That's just not interesting. Wow. One's way out there. How am I supposed to get there? <laughs> Lean over to the chat. So uh, only ice coffee said. I don't want to see this bullshit. And, and I I can understand why people wouldn't want to see that. You're, you're not interesting. You're not interesting. And that's the thing that hurts the most for you. Because back in the day, you used to be interesting. Even if people, again, even if people didn't find you funny, entertaining, whatever, you were engaging, constantly talking about things, constantly making jokes, constantly flying off the handle. Whatever it was, whenever it was. You were doing stuff in that space. If you play Fallout 3 again, just compare it to the first time you played Fallout 3. And you'll see a vast difference. Anytime you see those old things, like we, the original GTA. Uh, we we did that with the um, Heavy Rain and then the new Heavy Rain. Oh, yeah. We, sure we did. did that. It was a scene for scene. It was just like, Whoa. He's saying stuff. He's not particularly funny or interesting back then. But here, he was he was constantly trying. That's the difference. He was trying to get something going. And maybe something will click for somebody that it doesn't click for somebody else. But at least he was constantly snapping his fingers, just waiting for, oh, that tune, cool. But now it's just like. It was, it was horrible. I remember it just going wild. It's incredible. Is for those who maybe are getting into it, look at what's happened to me over the years. The, the mistakes I've made, learn from my mistakes, please. And What mistakes? What please mistakes? name them. Don't say racist stuff? Okay, I don't need to learn that from you. Uh, Don't cash out 18 credit cards? 
I suppose, but I don't need to learn that from you. I suppose. <laughs> don't move to when your sh is it in order and bringing some jobless lady to a house that you shouldn't be able to afford and finance it? Sure. Well, he should be able to. He should be able to. Don't, don't and alienate your friends? Okay, Phil. Don't expect your money to always be like this in the versatile and volatile in YouTube online space. Lesson learned, I guess. Repeat them. The thing is, there is now a track record of people who've done this stuff. What is your mistakes? He's not he, gonna say it. He named nothing. Don't repeat my mistake. Of what? Don't trust people. Phil. Because they backstabbed me. The good one. Phil, you make over 100K a year. Struggling. Str and this is struggling for you. What mistakes? Free 26K off that vestry bush. Hey, you know what? I, here, here's a mistake that I will not listen to him on. He he paid way too much for his condo in Connecticut. That oh, was yeah. Stupid. Because he was simping. And it was some girl that he liked from work that he wanted to go, oh, be big pockets, burn out as he is wont to do. And he's like, this is a this is a 30-year mortgage. Did you expect to live there for 30 years, Phil? My That's guess is he stupid. expected to. But I can't even say that because he's not refinancing his house now because it could he could greatly lower his in payments and probably get some money. But I expect he was going to refinance it um, and then sell it off to the next person. But he could never find a way to sell it off to the next person. And he never put in the work to sell it off to the next person. He thought he was going to bring it up in casual conversation like old girl did to him. And then just be like, yeah, here it is. Boop, 500K out my pockets. He is an idiot. Yeah, and he's made mistakes that we need to learn from. But even that mistake, he would have been good. He probably could have paid that off in three years making that money. Oh, yeah. But he, he just went BMW in Hulk statues. That when day, like his day one condo walkthrough versus his very last condo walkthrough, it's egregious. They're everywhere. Everywhere. And then you get a house and there's nothing nowhere. But then when Panda leaves, he's just like, put it up. Put up the posters. Put up them. Now we can put this up in nice and open. Oh, dude, what a salt what monster. Was, what was she doing? What, what what was that whip cracking that she was just like, you ain't putting this up? I'm like, bitch, you younger than me. This is my house. I paid for this. I came out the pockets. But that's not who Phil is. Phil... She probably went, no, I want some actual art stuff. Like, uh, we can get some areas dedicated for the game and stuff, but let's get some actual, like, we're we're in our own home now. Let's make it a home. You know what? And he probably went, yes, honey. Yes, honey. Okay. Yes, honey. Okay. Yes, Nookums. <laughs> <laughs> but see, I can't even say that. Because this moth is putting up nothing in his game room. You would think that that would be a door it's gonna with... Me it's going to mess up the audio. Yeah, that's in two square foot of, of soundproofing. That's making all the difference, Phil. Now we can hear your snorts in crisp, crisp 4K. <laughs> and yet, he still got a 480p camera. He still refuses to upgrade his camera. He and and, it, and now his problem is no, I need a new computer. So because my my process is going at sixty percent and I'm not even doing anything. So if I had a better camera, then that it go up to a hundred and blow up. So I need a better computer. Hint hint. Save the house. I I can't stand Phil. He sucks.
you can learn from the mistakes of others, people who've now done it for the last decade, and you can do the right and wrong things based off of the things that have already happened, okay? There's definitely a better way to conduct yourself and stuff, and I've learned. I don't, I don't know what mistakes YouTubers have made. Nope. I'm better not... ways to conduct yourself. I guess, like, going into Suicide Force and recording that type of stuff. Oh, I, but I don't need to learn from a YouTuber not to do that. Like I said, Liz Yellow showed off a bunch of her tweets and a bunch of her old videos that she did. I don't need to know. Hey, don't do that. Oh, dude. Did you see the old blog she had? Uh, What was it? What was the name? Or I don't remember, but... She what, probably talked about it. Bad. Uh, Was Sand in Word? Yes. Okay, she did talk about it. Because, yes. whoa, some of that stuff was... Whoa. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's bad. But again, I don't need to I don't need to hear about that. Yeah. What? Learned over the years how to be a better person. Um, but I certainly made tons of mistakes as well on the way. So for me Like what, Phil? You're not even explaining for the next person coming up to not do the thing. No, but that just you learn did. from his mistakes. Just learn. Just see what I did and did don't do the did I did. Uh, I had nothing. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how do I adapt? What do I do? Right? What's right? Hey, do direct capture. No. no. Here's a roadmap of people doing direct capture and it no. looks great. Hey, Phil, do you want, do you maybe want to start doing some live stream? No. <laughs> but Phil, so many people over here are doing, no. Wait, hold on. Let me think about that maybe. No. Ugh. Oh, dude, he went bananas recently with that in uh, Jolly Rancher rapper. Isn't and it the worst? He, he just kept going back and forth between it. I think he was playing Lost Judgment or something. Oh. I don't remember what was going on, but he switched back and forth like four times in the space of like seven minutes. It was gross. I tried to stay true to my heart. <laughs> I heard it. I heard. I, I was rubbing my eyes. I f and heard it. I'm trying to stay true to my heart. Are you Eddie Guerrero? I tried to stay true to my proud cortisone. All right, thanks. All right, thanks, Coco. Cool. That's what I'm we need. I'm a content creator that I could be proud of that every day I wake up and I'm like, man, I'm happy with what I did yesterday. You know? But. You think. How do you know the minds of a 2 million subscriber YouTuber mm -hmm. that wakes up? Do you think they wake up and go, man, I did some immoral, awful, <laughs> but I made a lot of money. So, I mean, I guess I just got to rock with it. <laughs> Dang, I made some really crap content yesterday that I am not in an iota proud of. I'm not proud of that at all. But hey. My bank account is fat, so I guess And whatever. I'm not going to try to do better today. No, I'm not. I'm just going to do the same thing that I did yesterday, which was crap. So, how do you... What do you think that happened? What? Right <laughs> what the... F is this? Some people... I don't, I don't think they have that kind of moral compass. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, <coughs> they don't have the moral fortitude to not accept a Walmart ad. <laughs> to recognize that they put out crap material and then say that they put out crap material. To not understand that they are a paid shoe every time their head hits that pillow and every time it pops up from it, they are shields. And they don't care. They don't care. There's no moral compass. They're not waking up moral like, dang, compass. I am hurting the thing. Gaming of landscape. gaming. <laughs> of wow. gaming content creation. I'm the problem. Jesus. I wake up every day and I every time I talk, I'm just the problem on YouTube. Well, well. Cha-ching, cha-ching. What happened to my heart? <laughs> Where's my passion? <laughs> this guy is insane. 
Yeah. This is a level unheard of. Because Phil has always been somewhat insane. Yeah. This is unbelievable. You don't think people have the moral compass of what? To do what? <laughs> but just to me, as long as I made a paycheck today, I don't even care what I did. So, if you have 3 million subscribers, doesn't matter if you have fun on stream, if, if, if you're laughing with your audience, if you're dancing around and just having a really yep. good time. How could you? You're lying to yourself. You're actually miserable and you're making crap content and you don't recognize it. And, and oh, well, you don't really care because you're making money. I swear, Phil could write an entire dissertation about the problems he has with a content creator. And then at the end, it would go dot, 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 because they make a lot of money. <laughs> because that's what it is when yes, all is said and done. Is. If they were Paycheck. doing the exact same things they were doing now and making half as much money as Phil, would he be saying anything? If Phil was in the position of them with 5 million subscribers making a 1.2 million a year, would he be like, dang, look at all these people? Or would he go, who gives a shit about them? There's more time. No, he needs to talk about people. Because they're because above they're, him. No, because they're doing it wrong. They're, they're not hurting people. No, they're hurting him <laughs> and his honesty and his heart. <laughs> <laughs> this is <dude. laughs> I mean, if that were the case, if people had a moral compass, half the, the drama channels on YouTube wouldn't even exist. Oh my God, you're talking about the drama? And again, does speaking on drama make it not a moral compass? Do reporters not have a moral compass because yeah, they, they talk about corru corruption or a good thing or a death? What is Keemstar actually doing but reporting on stuff? No, I don't know enough about Keem. Maybe yeah. he does, does do some horrendous stuff behind the scenes. Maybe he does horrendous but stuff on from camera. From what I see with just the drama stuff, he is simply reporting on it. And having a laugh at it. And what other drama channels are there, Phil? That's the big one. Uh, there used to be someone like like Scarce, and I know uh, Pyrocynical did a little bit. There's a couple of channels that just go, hey, the downfall of this YouTube. Oh, yeah, I watched a couple of those. They're not very good because most of it is a synopsis of everything that's happened with them. And then just go... Uh, yeah, they lost like 10,000 subscribers. And it's like, mm. what's the what's the downfall then? Yeah. But other than that, and, and again, that's just an opticin. Mm -hmm. That's simply saying, here are the facts of what happened in this situation. Maybe throw in a couple of opinions, but you're allowed to have couple that. Jokes. Aren't you, Phil? Couple jokes. Some. Now, if you're just outright saying, yeah, he murdered the man. It's just the, like uh, the Perez Hilton stuff. Yeah, that type of stuff. But who's in talking about Perez Hilton? Where is Perez Hilton? What are they up to these days? I wonder if there's it's still a Perez, how to, how to pronounce. Uh... No, he's still, the website's still up. All right. Um, oh, got rid of the pink hair and all that stuff? Looks like lost a little bit of weight. Yeah. Yeah, good for them. I mean, Constance's still trash, but... You know. Shadow X222 tip the dollar fifty says so people shouldn't play games like GTA Online or Fortnite that are problematic, even if they're fun. Nobody, the balls in Rockstar's court. No one said no to GTA Six. No, no, no. I see again. What did I say? That I did not say GTA Online is a bad game. I did not say Fortnite's a bad game. I said, as a as a consumer, as a gamer, as a part of the industry, the moment you spend one dollar on gaming, you're now a part of the industry. Okay. Um
if you spend zero dollars, <throat> you're part of the industry. If you pay a bunch of mobile games, spending zero dollars, but play them for eleven hours a day, are you not part of the industry? Isn't Fortnite free? Yes. What an idiot. <laughs> Call of Duty Warzone is also free. <laughs> but cosmetics and whatever. So yeah, again, you don't need to spend no. a dollar on the industry. Like if you already have a PC for like editing, like your job is to do video editing or um, graphic design, and you have a computer that can run Call of Duty Warzone and you play it again 10, 11 hours a day, or you played a, a big old 18 hour weekend session, are you not part of the industry? If you go on Twitch and start streaming Call of Duty every Saturday on your day off, are you not part of the industry? You money is not what makes you part of it. It is not it is not what makes you a gamer. Oh dude, they're going off on my hero. Yeah, I'm like, dang, mother. It's so much stuff. Somebody asked, like, hey, what do you hate in detail about what's the problem with my hero in detail? I was just like, <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, Breton. I'm like, man, what are y'all biggest problems with my hero in detail, please? Oh, man. They're, they're still going. Oh, this is trash. Oh, man. Oh, Gavin went off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw the big old thing from Gavin. And then it's just the image of Deku, Dark Deku, walking away. <laughs> you all might, I don't need your handmade fool. Walk right. away. <laughs> he has literal no reason to choose not to eat. <laughs> We're not talking about my it's hero. It's stupid. Yes, we understand it's a very stupid thing that people are clapping for for whatever reason because of the drama, I guess. I understand it's a stupid thing. We're talking about Phil. And Perez Hilton. <laughs> For some reason. Unless you just don't care. Alright. Which is fine. If you don't care, you don't care. But the moment, but if you actually care about the gaming industry and the future of gaming, you have to be conscious about the repercussions of your actions when you spend a dollar on anything. Pause. So do you care every time you spend a dollar on anything? McDonald's in Nikes. Uh Crap and Crunch. Are you caring about dang, I'm giving my money to Cap and Crunch. Hey, what if tricks goes out of business? You said that you would play Call of Duty Vanguard, a game whose beta you factually hate it if fans donated it to you. So are you um perpetuating the cycle of giving um, Call of Duty advertisement by playing the game and showing it off? And are you helping the industry by pushing your fans towards buying the newest Call of Duty for you and not conscious of the issues that that presents? Or did you just want to play the newest big game for the money? This is unbelievable. And we're not even talking about his champion's consistent <laughs> spending. Allegedly. Uh, there's no alleged anymore. Allegedly. When I see iTunes 109.99 five times in a row, when he said factually he does not buy music on iTunes, then what is the hundred dollars for? The only There is no only I cannot believe you are only, still thinking of this. There's nothing left. The only question mark I have is how did he get away with it in bankruptcy? Because he rolled it all into gaming. He, he probably went, he yes, because it is part of gaming. He probably rolled it all into his gaming expense. I need to spend this much no, every month on a game. They went, hey, let me see your PayPal. No, that was the fake dude. No, oh, that no, was no, the yeah, yeah, no. But you see, uh, you'll see iTunes. You'll see a gaming company or Google Play or something like this. And, it's, and he would just go, yeah, that's just the video games I play. On iTunes? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he could be like, I play it for YouTube, so I need... Because uh, there are, like, YouTubers that are just, like, yes. gotcha people. Oh. And unless they're watching his stuff, and of course they're not. It's a bankruptcy court. They're just revolving door people around. He's showing everything they asked uh. for. Here's the stuff. iTunes, blah, blah, blah. From PayPal, what's that for? Oh, for uh this thing, for this thing. Allegedly. There's no alleged. I've removed your question mark, sir. 
Now it's just a period. And there should be no period there. It should be an exclamation point. His champion's bullshit. <laughs> Not even talking about it. Okay? Fine. Enjoy GTA Online. That's fine. All right? You can do that. But if you're a major proponent of, of that game and that game ruined Rockstar... It didn't ruin Rockstar. The gaming ruined. industry is harder than ever. Is ruined. Sorry. How many games did Insomniac put out during the PS4 and uh, Xbox One era? Spider-Man. I think Sunset Overdrive was uh, Xbox One. It was. And maybe a Ratchet & Clank. Three games? And there are, there are studios... Regardless of the issues they have, their studio that just rolls the ball constantly. They're always so quick to put out games. They put out three in one of the longest generations we've ever had. What was the space of time between GTA 4 and 5? What did they put out through there? L.A. Noir, Max Payne 3. You go back. I want to see what Roy put before that message was deleted. Oh, dude, it was deleted a hot minute ago. (laughs) 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 Nothing but Tevin. (laughs) Dude, worth it. (laughs) Fine, enjoy GTA Online. That's fine. All right, you can do that. But if you're a major proponent of, of that game and that game ruined Rockstar. As a single player game developer, I mean, they just put out another single player game this generation. Ruined. <laughs> what a what an image. His shoulders look so weak. <laughs> <laughs> you leave that man alone. It's it's, it's all the push ups have gone to his back Bro, muscles. His head looks legit photoshopped on those <laughs> shoulders. <laughs> yeah. But- the shoulders look a bit weird. It look a bit too far off. <laughs> it's just it's just cause and effect, man. You know, it's part it's part of being an adult is realizing that sadly the world isn't as black and white or as good and evil or as nice as people make it out to be. So me spending fifteen dollars on GTA or online. Huh? means that I should recognize that the world isn't as black and white as I initially thought it would be. Because you're supporting something through giving them your money. And thus, the company is just like, this is what the people want. And they're they're just going to do more of that. That, As he's actively playing Street Fighter V and hating it and buying it. And we'll uh, play Street Fighter 6. He hated the beta of Street Fighter 5 and still bought it. No, but that's fine. Yeah, uh, I guess you I'm just a don't. Lifelong Street Fighter fan. I guess you just don't care what happens as long as the paycheck comes in. No, don't turn it into something like that. Don't make that this. <laughs> game, I really enjoyed it for many years. I'm glad I played it. Oops, I accidentally destroyed an entire industry of games. That I company. personally destroyed an entire industry of games. By me going to Walmart to get some bacon and some kicks, I I kicked out the mom and pop store up the street by getting bacon. Feel one person does not crumble an industry. Yeah, but if one per and you can say that, but if a million one persons happen, to, they still don't. But then if ten million one persons, <laughs> IPs are dead now. Because GTA Online printed the money and they decided not to work on it. What IPs are dead? Because they just put out Red Dead Redemption 2. How many games has filled Wage quit? He's killing Tremendous. games because they're not bringing in the money. Hey, Halo. Uh, guys, I love playing Halo. It's the I think it's the game of the year. But I'm only making $18. I can't $18. Have these streams where I'm making $20. I love playing Judgment, but y'all... Likes are good. Attendance is really good for a night stream. Guys, we got $15. That's not good. I'm just being honest. You killing games because of money, Phil. What about that? Somebody said that uh, 
just being honest, constantly saying that was the song of a lying man. And I don't know why, <laughs> but that thing just stuck in my mind. <laughs> so, a good line. The song of a lying man. <laughs> Anything else? Oops. But you see, like, that's just part of, like, growing up. It's a part of life is realizing these things. Realizing it's that not. I should take away my enjoyment of GTA Online so the industry as a whole gets GTA 6 in the next five years instead of the next eight years. Because then maybe they'll make Max pay four because I didn't spend my $20 and 30 hours on GTA Online. And then even if you did buy it, but and then just go, hey, they're not making anything. I bought this game two years ago. What am I supposed to do now? Just stop playing it? It's like the in H Bomber guy, the woke brands where people are burning their Nike shoes. You've already like, bought it. You we got your it. money. What do you think this is doing to Nikes? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> um, I certainly didn't realize it either when I was younger. And now I do. Now I have to look at the big picture of everything that happens, and I'm like, wow, you know, why is every why are half the AAA games out there shit? You know why? Like but what? We, we, but you still buy them and still play them. Can you, what are what are Phil's worst games of the year gonna be? He had them already. Oh, he already did the stream. Yep. Let's uh, hear. Let's see what the list was. Let's see that then. Maybe I was listening to an old stream of Piece of Peace. Uh, most disappointing games of 2021. Uh, do we have a timestamp, anybody? Well, why would somebody do this? They're not. They're not helping him. Alrighty then. Uh, Forza. It looks like. I don't know exactly if I can even put my finger on it. Okay. I kind of want to hear some of that Forza. Today. You like pick a character that's a unique class. Each character has its own strengths and weaknesses. Um, back dead by back, back to I'm like, is that dead by daylight? And you fight a bunch of zombies. Now, why? The new things they added I, it just zooms in on them. It just drinks. And I'm just like, Phil, perfect. why? It probably would have sold a lot of copies. Because when what a new console this? comes out, everyone is um, trying to buy all stars. every new game that's exclusive to that console. Why? <laughs> okay. And then on top of that, all of a sudden, GTA, it was no uh, footage remake the game at all, outside of very curated trailers, dimensional portals between worlds. Ratchet and Clank. And they don't have any loading. You can walk between these dimensional portals. I'm going to have to watch this because I don't even... Roguelike mechanics, meaning if you get a new unique weapon or a new ability, you have the... Returnal? ...was announced that was going... Deathloop. Oh, Deathloop. Studio. Okay. Which now, you bought. Yep, situation. which you bought. All right, and here's why. Creepy. The design of the enemies over the course of the game gets increasingly more interesting. By the end of the game, there's many different enemy types that he doesn't like roguelikes. That are kind of fun to fight and or experience. Oh, and I definitely Returnal number one roguelikes. Okay, cool. That's his the most top two games. roguelikes. Ugh, cry, wham wham, cry cry, feel. But <clears throat> like he doesn't even call them worst. Just disappointing. Yeah. So, but he's like half of the AAA games are. Sh but how many AAA games were in there? And how many did he buy? Phil, if you, why won't you wait a week to see reviews and go? I'm not supporting this because it looks like uh people are calling this. Sh the audiences and critics agree, so I'm not gonna buy it. I'm not gonna support sh games. But no, or then I don't get my day one views, and that's the only thing keeping me afloat. Because I'd love to be playing old games. I'd love to be playing RPG. Guys, when the hot new games come out, rub hands. <laughs> it's not the games, Phil. It's you. What's up? I'm, I'm just looking through. There's a list of the 20 best um, AAA games in 2021, and... Oh, Tales of Arise, Deathloop, uh, Battlefield, Far Cry, Shin Megami. Oh, I'm sure you love Far Cry, Death even though Blood. it's the same as always. And the company went through a, a large period of in a, a harassment. Four but five. hey, Phil's pockets. I guess you don't care what you do for content as long as it pays you, huh, Phil? Forza, Halo, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. What a P 
piece of garbage, dude. Yeah. No. Why is every company trying to make a battle royale? Why is every company doing the same? What? What? Who's every company? Every company. I guess we just got thirty thousand battle royales yep. out there. Battle Royale, Street Fighter. They're not fighting. I guess shooting. we just have that. That's good. That's good. I enjoy that. This is fly. This is fly. Uh, I, I love, I love rewatching that because I just keep seeing stuff that I didn't see before. She's just the first time that he interrupts. She oh yeah, the first two or three face. times you can see it on her face, and I'm like, I never noticed that. And she's tapping his back and just looking down at him like mother. And then after that. His, his interruptions are no longer story relevant thing. It just adds to her stuff. So she's no longer just like, what the? F it's so good. And and her dress is is a white version of what she's wearing in her in the current timeline. And same thing with him. So I'm just like, are they repurposed dresses? Or is this like, I'm telling the story. So this is just like an updated, uh, hyper-realistic version. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I think this is why, you know? Oh, I'm not saying you blame in the video. individual gamer or whatever. You don't. But you have to look at this from a big picture perspective and understand. Phil, you do not look at anything from a big picture perspective. No. You look at it in the smallest detail. This is a hot new game. I want to buy it to play it, to showcase it, to make money. You don't look at it like this company's going through this. You don't look at it like all these reviewers said that. Nope. No. You want to play. Okay, here's the thing. Phil wants people to watch him so then they can make an informed decision. But first watch me. But first watch me. So after watching me, then you can decide, oh, this game is good. I want to support it. Or this game is trash. I'm not going to support it. Phil's just the thing arbiter of, uh, you know, he's just the catalyst to which you watch and make your informed decision. And he can't help it. He just has to be that person. They are. If you support content creators who... They're chilling constantly. Here's the constantly. Oh, Phil. oh my goodness, chilling constantly. How many how many timelines are 80% shilling products? Who are you watching that does that? You don't watch people. You have no references. You're just saying this nebulous person that is nothing but a shield that may or may not exist, but they exist in such small numbers. I don't know who the f you talking about. You think that's okay? Oh, that's just part of the game, man. That's part of the business. That's oh part of it goodness. all. Oh my goodness. Shut up. Just accept it. That's all you'll get. All you will get is the, the, the talking head, fake page shield characters. On streams, you won't get a real gamer. You won't get anyone with a valid opinion or not. You'll just get wow, real gamer, valid, valid opinions. opinions. Yep, instead of them non-valid opinions. People who just want to fucking make a buck every every stream. You know, what do you think is gonna happen? That's just Phil. Every stream you go, where's my bucks? I don't got enough bucks. Guys, if, if 17 you, bucks! If you have $5 at the end of your, right in between that hour break for the, um, uh, for you to cut the, cut the, uh, video and, and start the next video, you're gonna be like, guys, where the money at? Where the cash? How many times have you went, guys, I gotta send a tweet. I know people don't like it, but I need support. Phil, you don't stream for fun. You stream for money. This is this is a very obvious thing. Now you could say, you know, I still have passion for gaming and I still love gaming. Absolutely, but, but the second you turn one. it on, your whole purpose of doing what you do is for money because you will stop streams to go, I'm not making enough money. You will stop Let me streaming tweet to bring people here. In case they got money. Hey, guys, we hit the goal, but without Jack Raxer's $98 and Poopy Shoots $40, we're 
we would have made like thirteen dollars in tips, and that's not good. And we can't rely even on you, them. It's even gotta though be you a big crowdfunding of a dollar per per, just give me a little bit. Everybody, I get two, three hundred viewers. If everybody just gave me a dollar, we'd be fine. It's got to be a dollar fifty to cover free fees, though. It can't. Yeah, oh, and you're in. I'm not covering them fees as Dark Side <laughs> Field. Guys, when you give me a dollar, it's really minimum like minimum covers the fees. All right. Because <laughs> with that fifty dollars, I now actually get a dollar. Because that's what you wanted to give me, right? A dollar, right? Okay. So what's the issue that when you just paid a little bit more, but now I get everything that you wanted to give me? What a bum. Cause and effect. Don't say it like you dropped some truth bomb. <sighs> Phil, who are these constantly shilling gaming people? Where are the people you're talking about? Just point them out. Just name a name. Just go, hey, watch this stream. Watch this streamer see and see how I'm much they do. About. You know what would have helped a lot, Phil? If you went, let's go to Twitch right now. And let's just look at the top uh, videos. The top view video. And if 8 out of 10 had ad, you go, see, this is what I'm talking about. That would have really helped us out of just this nebulous, hey, they're out there. And they are bad. Capital T, they. You know, them. They're bastards. Uh, I made a mistake here. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry if, if it, like, is, uh, I don't, Shadow, I don't want you to feel bad. Because that's not my intention here, but the point is to be more conscious of what you're doing because whether or not you intend it. Phil, aren't you one of those people that cry that people ex use games to escape from reality? Mm -hmm. So why would you want to go, oh no, my escape from reality is affecting the reality of the game, of the industry. Why can't I just play a game without wondering about the industry? Due to the consequences. You see? No, I don't. Rule of pimp to the dollar fifty. By the way, I guess what I, here's a, here's the best way to actually to, to maybe say yeah, it. please do. Every person who ever shopped at Walmart didn't intend that all the local businesses around Walmart would shut down because Walmart became popular. Oh my god, dude. Are you serious? You're really Walmart does a lot of skeezy to push those people out. Even if people went to those other businesses, too often Walmart would just straight up buy them out or freeze them out. Like if you're dealing with us, you cannot ship to them. What big companies are slimy yeah. dirt. And too often, you shopping there is not affecting what they're going to do to that smaller business. And we still have mom and pop stores. Absolutely. We still have smaller businesses. Absolutely. Right? When you walk into Walmart and you buy something because it's a good price, are you, are you trying to say, fuck all the businesses around here? I hope they all go out of business. Of course not. But that's what happens. And that's what you... Just happens. It it's just your happens. fault. Piece of shit. It's your fault because you pay, you shopped at Walmart. Again, these businesses businesses still exist. There are absolutely people that will shut her up because of a Walmart, one million percent. Yep. But there's also so many that just shut her because of what Walmart is doing to them to squeeze them out. And there's still so many that still exist. You think there's not a local coffee shop because a Starbucks exists? I can walk in 10 minutes and go to a coffee shop. There's no Starbucks around here. Walk 10 minutes and go to a grocery store. There's no Walmart around here. You have to accept. You have to look at it as an adult and say, Phil, you go to oh Fred Meyer's God. every week. Why aren't you going to a local mom and pop store? Fred Meyer's is Fred Meyer's is a subsidiary of I think it's it's either Meyer's or Target. It's it's, it's connected to one of them big stores. I think it's Kroger, the bad it boy. Might be Kroger, the bad boy. They're still talking about my hero. Yep, Fred Meyer Kroger. Yeah. So, why is Kroger okay, but Walmart isn't? 
Why is Target okay, but Walmart isn't? Again, Phil, where are you going to help yourself? You, are you just like, are you willfully just like the smaller people because you in your mind know what you're doing is quote unquote wrong in your eyes? And you're just like, it. I get a better deal here for my f-ing super car, Bush? When you went to get your, your horrible sandwich that you keep showing and keep talking about, why don't you just go to a local burger shop? That Burger King is putting those people out of business. Do you not care? Or are you just like, hey, I just want a burger? From Burger King. Why do you go to that big old conglomerate pet shop instead of some mom and pop store? Why don't you have an indie night? With the smaller game. People, indie companies are trying to pay you to play their games. Instead of Game Pass night, why don't you do indie night? Hey guys, this is going to help lower the tips goal uh, every stream because with these indie companies, I make some money and we get to showcase the game that may be good. Easy. But no, you just go to triple A stuff, putting them out of business because that's how this works, huh? And again, this would be like, this isn't even analogous because what he's talking about is Walmart putting another company out of business. GTA Online, his problem with it isn't that it's putting other companies out of business. It's that they're not doing more in the GTA space. This would be like if Walmart introduced a new product that flew off the store shelves all the time. So then all of a sudden, they just became that product, the store. That's what you're, That's what it's analogous to. Walmart don't do that though. Direct consequence of me giving business to Walmart is all the better local businesses go better based on what better. Phil? If it was better, you'd be going there. What makes these other stores better? Aren't Phil. the products they get from Doritos more, higher quality? <laughs> the f are you talking about? No, they're just better than Walmart. Oh, out of business because I wanted to save a buck. Gorilla Pimp took the dollar fifty and says, "Please play FIFA, Madden, Two K, NBA, and Fortnite. You get so many tips and chats and subs. Trust me, I know gaming." Uh, shout out to Turtle Dude, Carlos, Cool Dude, Kevin. I love Indian Curry, Six Seventy Two, and Cat and Jasper and Orange Cat. Thank you, Gorilla Pimp. Chills up, tip me a dollar fifty. And says, why don't you spend more time interacting with your fans and learning what they enjoy instead of going on long, pointless rants? What well, could read the, this feel? What could the response be? I do. I can, I, and I do both. What What has he read that wasn't a tip in this time for shout outs thing? I do. That's going to be his thing. Because as you know, I don't actually interact with my audience ever. I don't talk with them. I oh, he did do I do, but in a much douchier way. Yep, a mocking tone. I don't do anything. I'm like those other guys. Where what? Okay, Phil. I don't play games that they want me to play. I just talk. You all don't. You actively just said no. I'm not gonna play this. What was the game that he just said? Um, uh, a uh, cold vein. Yep. He literally just said I'm not. I'm, playing. No, I'm not playing that. You guys. And so many people came up on oh, field, play it, play it, play it. I'm not playing it. Okay, Phil. All right. Go, 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 go. Phil, too often you're like, oh, no, they're not giving me money. So uh, th this game might go away, guys, unless you keep tipping and they don't tip. And you go, well, tweet time. Oh, I guess we'll keep going with the game. They don't want you to play that. They're asking you to play some things. You're going, how many times do you still get asked to play a Madden? Any sports game? No. <laughs> hey, play online, Phil. Play with us. No. Because then the trolls are. Well, maybe you, membership goes. You could. But then they would just buy memberships and troll. So no. Oh, Phil, man. stop lying. And ranting. Wow. Les Result to me $1.50 he says, did you hit your stizzy pen when you go on break? Yes. What? What? Pause. And you see, 
He didn't even really address no, it. No, of course not. Because of course I don't interact with him. Right, okay. Didn't even address the long rant point part. Of no. It. Nope. Unbelievable. <laughs> couldn't. He couldn't. So he didn't. Because all he saw was the main thing. <laughs> That's the only thing he can address. So he did address. Yeah, I don't interact with my fans. All right, buddy. Thanks for the dollar. <laughs> I didn't expect it to go that way. I'll say that. $10 tip says, you're an average Joe Schmo gamer. How are we not to follow your life guru advice? <laughs> my life guru advice. I don't know if anyone's ever said I'm a life guru before. Hey, so I've tried very hard to find the ad for Walmart that Phil is saying, and I cannot find it. Are you telling me it doesn't exactly exist? It may exist, or he may be lying. Both are equally possible. <laughs> Bro, this is unbelievable! Dude, don't move fuck! You've got you've got OBS. You got a stream that you refuse to set up. He can't do it with and no bait. You can't do automatic text for when chats come in because you're afraid of what might pop up on stream. Yep, that's the problem. Can't do it. Sorry. So I got to twist my body right on So I got to... Uh, and Superman! I don't think that uh, I would ever call myself that nor intend for myself to be, you know, pushing that way. Oh, uh, let's see here. Andrew did a super chat. He says, you know, I bought Raycons. Trusting a YouTuber that knows enough about headphones just to discover those headphones are a pile of garbage. If I see you shill for Raycons, I'm upsubbing. I don't know what that is, but that stuff does happen all the time. Where pause. So, so wait, 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 wait. You know what I mean? We learn about context clues in like the second, third grade. I bought Raycons from a YouTuber who knows enough about headphones. Do you think Raycons is a car feel, a brand of shoes, or headphones? What would be your answer in that multiple choice? Unbelievable. And this is again how you know he doesn't watch. That's that was the point I was going to. Because Raycons is one of the more prevalent hey hashtag ad things. And he doesn't know what the Raycons are. Your big ones are like Skillshare, Curiosity, Curiosity Stream, and Raycon, Ray Shadow Legends, those types of things. And this mother went, I don't know what those um, are. Most. <laughs> but he's probably going to go, but you see what I'm saying? But I'm Phil, somehow right. But I'm right You though. advertised the chair before you got the chair. Before Cheeks hit leather. <laughs> A content creator will, for some reason, be pushing a product, whether it's a gamer chair, an accessory, an ad that says you should buy your products at a certain place, and here's my discount code, and that stuff is, it's, it's literally all a scam. <laughs> a chair which he did <laughs> accessories what like loot box and, and one up crate the thing th that you can get accessories from 
Oh, and uh, games that you shield. Uh, links in the description for a discount code, which he did for Loot Crate. That Factually. That controller. Phil, you made an entire video of shielding for, for Loot Crate. He got a beanbag chair once. Oh, Phil, come on, They're bro. They're all a scam. Oh, man. They are all a scam. Oh, man. They're not a scam, Phil. They are what they advertise. Whatever the quality may be is different for each person. <clears throat> if somebody gets a Raycon headphone and don't like them and think the quality is garbage, that's fine on their part. But the next person might get those same headphones and say, hey, the quality is pretty good because yep. not everybody's ears are made the same. Not everybody likes the same types of thing. But Maybe it, it's good for like podcasts, but not good for like bass heavy rap songs. Who he knows? didn't say why it was bad or anything. He didn't say what the YouTuber said. Nothing. But you're just like, no, it's a scam. Even though you don't even know what the f- they are. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, that hurt. He sucks. It's, we want to make money because we think you're gullible. Hey, here's some Raycons. I like them. They're pretty good. Buy them if you want. I will buy them. Oh, wow, no. These are garbage. What a scam. Hey, here's NordVPN. It's a VPN that works. Thank you. <laughs> what a scam. Scam. <laughs> Curiosity stream, a bunch of thing content creators and a bunch of thing documentaries. No, oh wait, no, it's exactly as advertised. And your code worked for three for 33 days. I guess I got scammed. Oh, dude, my nose is running into this everything. Oh man, what a thing. Well, whoo, boy. So here, click my referral code and get, make me money for buying a low-quality piece of crap. Money. Phil, you low didn't know. Quality. Screw that money. He did exactly that for Loot Crate. I'm not, I'm not letting yeah. this go. And those were literally mystery things that you get. You don't know what's coming in that box, but this, this month's theme is Marvel. Loot box, uh, loot crate unboxing, August 2015. Villains, all caps, exclamation point, in parentheses. Best crate so far, question mark. In the description, like what you will see and thinking of subscribing to Loot Crate yourself, go to lootcrate.com slash darksidefield and use code save me 10 dsp to save 10%, 10% on any new subscription, exclamation point. Goes before all his King of Hate uh, uh, website. Goes before his Patreon. Goes before his gaming playthroughs and his live streams. This. Today what I'd like to do, this is one that I've wanted to do for a couple weeks now. Laser mod uh, controller. I to give it sufficient time. Um, so everybody knows. In beanbag chair. I love this. This feels so comfortable to me. You don't even know from having a back injury. This feels great. So the last thing I want to end, leave this with is the price, which I'm going to look up right now uh, on their website. So Didn't even know the price. That's great. Back on Saturday, I was doing uh, a stream on Twitch. It. it was me trying out the VR I don't know, chat those are the shoe, Not the shoe, uh, the uh, the in <laughs> the chairs. The multiple chairs. Let's not forget. If those things were quality, guess what? They wouldn't need to have content creators pushing them. If they were quality, how do they get it out? Except in commercials and advertisement. So Pepsi, when they put in Britney Spears, it's not quality. Because you should just know about Pepsi. When we get the Pepsi halftime show at the Super Bowl, I guess we should just know about Pepsi. Why are they even doing that? How do you just know about something, Phil? 
It takes advertisement. And it's not content creators pushing it. It's not like in Cat Williams when he joined Dipset on stage just going Dipset, Dipset, every other in joke. Just to get the name out there. They're not pushing the name, Phil. They're going, this video was sponsored by this. Here's half my video. All right, now here comes the ad, Raycon. 30 seconds, minute and a half, back Raycons to the video. Raycons are these. They cost this. Go here for this. And it's up to I you to them. go, hey, do I want to do that or not? I see endless for, for Raycons. I'm like, I don't want Raycons, so I'm not going to get it. I saw something for NordVPN. I was like, hey, I could use a VPN, and I got the VPN. Now... If I was still at a job that required me to be walking around and I could just pop my headphones in, I might look into some Raycons. Who the f knows? But if I don't need it, why would I? I'm not going to. I don't need anything from Skillshare. Who, who, who do I need to collab with for a project I'm coming up with? I know how to edit. So what do I need them for? So of course, when they shield for uh, Skillshare, I'm not gonna be like, oh, whatever. I'm just like, hey, good for you. Get that bag. Get the bag. This got nothing to do with me. But if somebody out there wants to hear this, they they can hear it. I'm I, not. I'm not gonna deride you. For, I, for I would this. not watch Dan Olson's video on NFTs. If at the beginning he said curiosity stream, halfway through he said curiosity stream, and at the end he said curiosity stream. It's two Phil, hours. Phil thinks you should. But because of Phil, oh, that's a scam. Why are you doing that scam? You see? What you see is going to become... My most hated field thing. It already is for me. He says it so much. He says it a lot. He says it so f and much. Again, I think Phil is very much in the Opie school of oh, your headphones. Uh, I, I think Phil's very much in the Opie school of he needs um, validation after his word. Because so many times Opie will go, right? Just so people go, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think Phil is just like, you see? Or, oh, I or do. Just a verbal tick that he just can't get rid of. No, because he, he smiles during it. Because he j look look again when he says <laughs> I don't you see. Hear him I don't talking give it. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give it as much as you want. <laughs> I need to be right. <laughs> quality piece of crap. If those things were quality, guess what? They wouldn't need to have content creators pushing them. You see, high smug smile. You see, smug. All right then. And actual quality headphones don't have gamers advertising them. Yes, they do. Okay, I guess they just don't. Or how would you know? Because you don't know what the f a Raycon is. I'm about to break my headphone. This thing was like $700. Let me, let me put that over there. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. Yeah, they, they just don't. High quality headphones don't have YouTubers advertising them. They just don't. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, but there are audiophile headphone, I'm mean, uh audiophile YouTubers out there, and I very much doubt that they don't get a Sony advertisement for some new Sony headphones or something like or, or at audio least a free, Technica a free um sample to to, uh, to review, review and stuff. Like the impulsive buy gets free stuff from uh restaurants and stuff. Something like that. Oh, matter of fact. I'm just saying this, this that's not how this works at all, Phil. So when Hori sent you that, did did Hori need to advertise it or or what? Was it just not good enough? Mm. Audio Technica unveils new cartridge and headphone designs sponsored. It's not good. Phil thinks that's not good. It's a YouTuber. He's just. He's just denigrating YouTubers, which he's one of, and and sponsors. But then he wonders, why ain't I getting sponsors? Where's my sponsors? You uh, hate them. <laughs> you hate them! People already know they're high quality and will spend the big dollar on them. 
Yeah, people already just know that they're high they quality. They just know it. How? Yep. Through reviews and such? Is that what it's going to do? But what about if I don't even know what that headphone is? If in my research, I don't know what an Audio Technica is or a specific Sony headphone. Well, you just, well, they're not big enough, so you don't buy them. You only buy the big stuff because the big popular stuff is good. Is that what you're saying, Phil? What about the big popular YouTubers? I honestly don't know. In fact, this dude got so there's there were so many Audio Technica sponsorships. Somebody made a parody just not sponsored by Audio Technica. <laughs> Need to have Joe Schmo, nobody, or you know, some big fucking YouTuber pushing. They don't need that. You see? Don't need it. Nope. Don't need it. Phil, how would I know about the Gal Gadot of uh, a champagne if she wasn't in advertising for the champagne? How do you hear about the things you hear about? Actors and and commercials and productions. Offering a uh, advertisement or sponsorships to something. How do you hear about the things you have, Phil? How did you hear about the wraparound headphones? Uh, through your ink fans? Okay, how did they hear about it? Through a YouTuber or some advertisement or a review or something? Or were they just like osmosis? Hey, they're big and you should buy them. Why do you have that microphone, Phil? What 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 research did you give to learn about the microphone and then implement it? This is unbelievable. Hey. <laughs> What's hilarious you idiots who keep coming on the chat saying didn't I have a gamer chair chair app? No. Oh! Wait, let's hear it all. I know I know I know you're going to it. Let's I'm not it. even gonna go to it then. No, we can go to it. We'll go to it after. Yeah, no, I just we... want to hear his spin. <laughs> What's hilarious, you idiots who are going on the chat saying didn't I have a gamer chair chair ad? No, I did not. So go fuck yourself. <laughs> no, I didn't. You're a liar. You people love to spin things that aren't true in a, in a way that they think that it makes me look bad. That never happened. I was never part of any gamer chair advertisement. Here's what happened: a gamer chair company contacted me. Okay, and they said, Phil, we're going to send you a chair for free. Please promote the company. When you get the chair, you are absolutely free to review that chair honestly when you get it. Now, I wanted to hear the whole thing. I'm going to go back a little bit. Uh, we're going to give you a, a chair. Please promote the company. That is literally, literally an advertisement. And I do not know what else he could possibly say in this to save face when he just described an advertising? You know what it is? He believes that when these people get the product and get a review, that they have to speak yep. positively yep. about it. No matter and what. And that's advertisement to him. And he's like, I, as long as I can be honest, that's all that matters. It's no longer an advertisement. I'm being honest about it's the It's a thing. review with a code. All right, let me go back. See, this is going back to I'm doing it right. Hey, stop. Unclench your fist. <laughs> Phil, we're going to send you a chair for free. Please promote the company. When you get the chair, you are absolutely free to review that chair honestly when you get it. And then let us know if you like it or not and decide if you want to continue to promote our products or not based on the quality of the chair you received. That was the agreement we had. I had signed up. I told them what chair model I wanted and everything. That morning, I announced I'm going to have a partnership with this company. Why did we need to know that he picked the chair model? What information? Because he got exactly what he wanted from the company. It wasn't just like, oh, we're just going to send something and I'm going to blindly like it or dislike. No, this is something I personally wanted. So when I review it, it's what I wanted and not what the company wanted to push. This is... Hashtag ad. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So what was it? OP seats or which it one was it? was two of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just don't know which one it was. 
Well, OPCs was definitely one of them. Oh, yeah. One trillion percent. Spawn seats. Spawn seats. Because, Phil, again. So that being said, folks, that being said, um, let's talk a little bit. Got a new positive update for you guys here. He sounds very positive. If you're not aware, if you weren't paying attention to my social media last night, I've obtained a sponsor. And... Un- Keep going, keep it going, keep going, keep going. Didn't he just... Yeah, keep going. Didn't he... But didn't he... Keep going. But didn't he... Keep going. Like the last sponsor, this sponsor, actually went through with their promises. Okay, OP Seats was the first one, and Spawn Seats was the second. Okay. Remember when OP Seat signed me to a sponsorship, had me advertise them on stream... Then immediately pull sell said sponsorship and didn't fulfill their end. Can you go back to the beginning? The whole thing. I, I don't want to hear it again. I just wanted to hear what he said. Exactly. This is 1038. 1038 left. Don't have gamers advertising them because people already know they're high quality and will spend the big dollar on them. Oh, Joe, oh. Big- you see? Yo, you see. <laughs> What's hilarious is idiots who keep coming on the chat saying, didn't I have a gamer cha- chair ad? No, I did not. So go fuck yourself. <laughs> no, I didn't. You're a liar. You People love to spin things that aren't true in a, in a way that they think that it makes me look bad. That never happened. I was never part of any gamer chair advertisement. Here's what happened. A gamer chair company contacted me, okay? And they said, Phil, we're going to send you a chair for free. Please promote the company. When you get the chair, you are absolutely free to review that chair honestly when you get it. And then let us know if you like it or not and decide if you want to continue to promote our products or not based on the quality of the chair you received. That was the agreement we had. I had signed up. I told them what chair model I wanted and everything. That morning, I announced I'm going to have a partnership with this company. Cool. The chair. A notice or announcement in a public medium promoting a product, service, or event, or publicizing a job vacancy is an advertisement. I didn't do an ad, mm, he says. But that's exactly A notice what... or announcement in a public medium, such as a stream, or or tweet, or, or description saying, here, click on this and get my... Sh-. Promoting a product like a chair. He can't spin this. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what happened. I didn't, idiot. I remember he had a tweet with a legit link for his... Uh, I don't know where it is. I'm not going to... Whatever. But it's my God. It's somewhere deep in the Kiwis. It'll arrive in a week or so. I'll review it, yada, yada, yada. Within one hour of me announcing that on stream, the trolls went to their social media and attacked that company. The company then literally broke the legal contract they had with me and said, we don't want you to be in our program anymore because there's too much negativity associated with you. So they broke the law. They literally violated and broke their own contract. Did you sign a contract? And was there a clause in there that they can end the sponsorship at any given time at their discretion? It's not that, hey, I'm working with a pedophile. Well, he signed a contract, so I guess I'm just here forever. Within like an hour of me like agreeing to. Actually, it was about 24 hours of me agreeing to it. <clears throat> okay, so it turned from an hour to literal 24 times that initial <laughs> hour. And, and you said an hour before. And agreement. Uh, th- which does not sound like signing a contract. Seems like they, they contacted you and you went, sure, that sounds good. Let's do it. And I never got the chair. I never reviewed it and it never happened. So no, I never actually. Asked the second What about the chair? other chair, Phil? What about the other chair? The chair that is pro- still over there by his workbench because he has sat down to watch other sh- it has had that chair. That and chair, Phil. he field. got rid of it, he got rid of it recently for this chair. So that's within the last couple of months? Gotta be. 
Because didn't a fan donate this chair? Five months ago. The disgusting August. For a chair company, no, that ne what you're saying never happened at Pause. all. Pause. You, did you did advertise. You just for did it. not get the product. You did. If though. anything, Phil, potentially you got scammed, <laughs> but you absolutely advertised for it. You you said that you did, but you didn't get the product. But you you got you started promoting sight unseen. Genshin, Phil, that's still an advertisement though. You are ignored, sir. Get leaned. <laughs> Wasn't what you think. Like, people say, oh, see, he was going to advertise for that company. No. I was going to get the chair, review it honestly. No. Beforehand. It was. You had it in your. Sh I'm promoting this company. Go check it out, guys. It was there. And if I hated it, I was going to tell you. And that would have been the end of that association that I had with them. Because that's the kind of content creator I am. I'm. Oh, my oh, God. So but you advertised it before you even got it. Not a shill. There you go. <laughs> I hate these little chuckles. Well, Shadow now did another $1.50 tip and says... I said it's dumb to blame the consumer in this scenario. Nobody enabled Rockstar to only work on GTA Online. They did that themselves. Yes, but it is the consumers that enabled them to do so. Like, how do you, again, again, how do you not understand that in life there are repercussions for your actions? Yeah, whether you or not did it, and it's your fault. You bought this game, and you ruined Rockstar. You. Yes, you. Yes, you. Phil, I just bought a game. Well, you f***ed up Rockstar. You're mm. messing with my money. You <laughs> ruined a Rockstar forever. I'm sorry. Not those repercussions are intended. There is still consequences to your actions. If you support something that is so predominant, it may become more predominant and kill everything else around it. That's what happened with Walmart and small businesses. That so you should just support a game that you may not like. Just so the game you do like doesn't become even more prominent. Holy crap. You should not support the game you do like. Because then they might keep making content for the game you do like. And not content that other people wanted from that same company. What is this mindset? That's what's happened with GTA Online or with Fortnite and other things. You, 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 you said those two examples already. You got three examples. Those two in Walmart. And you're just like, oh, people, they could go out of business. I ain't got no evidence or nothing. I'm just saying. It's and I'm just, right. <laughs> just cause and effect, common sense. It's something that happens in business. Common sense. I'm happens sorry. I'm like, what do you want me to tell you? It didn't happen. It did. I, <laughs> you know. It did happen. What what caused it? People supporting it. Like, I don't know. I don't get certain people. I don't get you. What it is is like, you wanna you wanna have your so cake much, and you wanna you. eat it too. You want but you wanna feel like nothing nothing ever, ever happens bad as a result of something. But it does. It does. Oh, but does it positive happen too? If they're playing GTA Online predominantly and they keep getting new and more content for it. Isn't that a positive for them? No. Because Rockstar as a whole is ruined. I don't care about Bully 2. I care about this game. Well, you, you're a fur. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I like that content creator. And I kept supporting them even though 90% of the content they put out is a fucking ad. I still kept supporting My, them. My, oh. I can't take this. No, clearly your headphones couldn't yeah, either. Where'd it, where'd it go? <laughs> the cord just it went down. It nah. flew away. What the hell did it get? <laughs> Dude. Oh, nope, I found it. Announcing my new partnership with the awesome gaming chair company. Pause. pause. Oh, not pause. We'll pause. <laughs> Stop. Cease. Yield. Uh, awesome.
You don't know them, Phil. They're some bum company. No, no, this is the second one. You don't know them, Phil. That's no, some... They got the he got the chair already. Okay. So here we go. Uh, with gaming chair company Sponsy. Check out my new chair here in my office. Use this link to check out all their stuff and use code DSP10 at checkout to save ten dollars of off their already affordable prices. He did not. This is not an advertisement. To the quality of the chair. He did not say it's comfortable. It sucks. It's creaky. Nothing. That's fine. Uh, I just want to see if he still has this tweet up. Because if so, he did not mark it as an advertisement. Nope. Oh, yeah. It's big gone. Nope. Of course it is. Rip. I like, I like them as a person or a content creator. Well, now the whole industry is just people putting out ads. Pause. Oh. So, uh, this slippery slope mentality of ninety percent of the of their content is an ad. Okay, no, it's not. First off, Phil, and now everybody's gonna become ad shields. Okay, no, it's not. No, they're not, Phil. And again. Who are ad shields? Please point out one content creator prominent that I can look to and go, wow, all 90%. they are is sent. Well, I didn't intend for that to happen. How can you blame me? Because you did it. Oh, I didn't intend for that. It doesn't matter what you intended. It happened. You didn't did it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Kills up. He slid that shit so sweetly. <laughs> I wish he didn't. Dude, if there was another 15 minutes of this, we would stop right now because of that. But we're eight minutes out. <laughs> we we're got, we're we got finishing it. We this got video. Give me a dollar for these things. I'm not a content creator. I'm a reaction streamer. I mean, I, once you get that level of stupid, I don't even think you need to like respond to it. Cool. So. Cool. All right. I think we got through everything, guys. Let's end the pre-stream. And uh, let's get started with Grand Theft Auto 3. <laughs> he's lagged on Grand Theft Auto for so long. And now he's going to go play Grand Theft Auto 3. <laughs> he's in Rockstar 4, dog. And they're a terrible company now. And then you're going to play Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> oh, boy. In a TV edition, shall we? Thank you. Ugh. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. YouTube. Did you see mode? It, it was oh. a switch. <laughs> he had this little smile on his face, and it went the f away. It's like that Kanye meme. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> okay. All right. Um. Okay. All right. <laughs> He literally turned his head and became a different person. <laughs> it's okay, like talking to a right. in kindergartner and then turning your head and talking to an adult. Okay. We'll all right. Get, we'll get you your juice. Oh, yeah. Just put that in the back. Literally two face. <laughs> no, I do want to be. Kill them all. <laughs> what the f is this fake mother? F I can't believe this. <laughs> Okay. All right. Um. <laughs> Dude, I have never That's seen fake. a flip so prominent. That's so fake. It wasn't even like a dimmer where he slowly turned. This he went from on to off. He is sick of playing this character. <laughs> And he is sending these little hints of just like, you guys believe this? Look, I'm letting it slip so hard. I can't do much more. He's in season 17 of a show of a character he hates portraying. So the second is like, cut. He's just like, mm -mm. nope. Dude. Where's my and trailer? Where's my coffee? Get me the f off this set. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> he turns. Me? I 
nativity. I wish. Thank you. Can you do like frame by frame? Uh. Mm, let's see. Let's see. Nope. What What do you yeah. do to arrows? Okay, I was about to say because arrows usually. One second. Uh, is it what? What is this? OBS or stream? Uh, uh X split. X split. I want to do OBS, but we can't. Their um, in-house media player only lets you go back five seconds. Oh man, that sucks. Yeah, and I don't. Um, so, uh, but they're constantly updating it. The second I can do one second, or uh, we just have to watch it through YouTube. And yeah, screw that. That's, that's fine. I, that's I, no, I'm, I'm not saying it's a yeah, problem. Yeah, no, no, no. I just thing. I know you want frame by frame so we can see like Ralph heartbreaking on the on the. Uh, go to YouTube. Just go to the YouTube. Go to YouTube. We can do frame by frame on YouTube. Okay. Because okay. I need to see this. Ah, but then the people wouldn't be able to Yes, see they would. It. Oh, they would. Because I could just add YouTube okay, as cool, a source. Cool, cool, cool. Because cool. I'm like, I, I, this cannot stand. So. I need to see that that's in you. All right, here we go. The, the smile. Oh, my goodness. There's your smile. There's the okay, all right. <laughs> That's the oh horror. my goodness! Yo, you can see oh the smile my leave his lips. <laughs> Dude, you can see the smile the second, leaving his. You can see the second that that cuts off. <laughs> you can oh literally see goodness. the smile leaving his lips. Still smiling, still smiling. Done! It's fading right no, there! It, it, I, no, I ain't gotta uh, in, interact with these bastards. Okay. Do <laughs> This is unbelievable. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> okay. You can see the smile leaving his face once he clicks the button. It's unbelievable. This is a robot. <laughs> this is not flesh and blood. Dude, unbelievable. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. It'd be like if, if Mr. Rogers, as soon as it went off, with just brandy. Like, wait, wait a second. What? Where did that his soy voice go? Um, I gotta go back a little, actually. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, let's get everything on here. A reaction streamer. <laughs> you you are you gonna be thinking okay, about this then. for the rest of the day. <clears throat> Dude, what a what a smorgasbord of disgusting things he just did. <laughs> Blow snot, <laughs> clear throat, dig in teeth. Just back to back to back. No no YouTube audience, you don't need to see this. Okay then. You can see him wiping it on the chair. You can see his right right hand literally doing a wipe. Might be on his pants. Whatever is being wiped on, it ain't a napkin. Pause. You see this? Ain't got nothing to say. Why Once you? the YouTube goes off, it's just... It is off. It's just set up. It's just what. It... This is what All I right, have guys, to do. Let's get set up. That it's like with cat. They're just like, just in washing dishes, making food. Tomato. It sucks. You're not watching Peacemaker yet, because <clears throat> there's uh, there's a moment where uh, <laughs> they're trying to find the bad guys and they're taken over by basically aliens, 
And it's just like, all right, we're all animated. Then the door closed and they go, just shut the f down. This is still going on with this. Shadow X to another dollar fifty says, all I'm saying is it's Rockstar's shortcoming, not ours. People should be able to play any game they want. Nobody weighs the pros and cons of playing a fucking game laughing out loud. And the point I'm making is they should. That's the point. You don't! How about that, Phil? Get, you get it, don't! Get it off the close-up. Get it off. And I'm making. That what you, when you... Sup Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't take it. I just can't. Not, not this long into this video. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we were three minutes in and just be an eye roll. Ugh. Yeah, I can't. I can't do it. But he yeah, said he, so many stupid things. He said he doesn't. You should. I'm doing everything right. My, I I got the sponsors, but it wasn't a sponsor. I, I didn't was, advertise. It wasn't. I I didn't do the links or the code. DSP ten, y'all. How is there still almost seven minutes left? What's left? Something. It has consequences. Pause. This is like the fifth time he said this. Just saying your pre-prepared script over and over ain't convincing anybody. He needs that upgrade, that memory upgrade, so the next line of code could go. And firmware update. You, you repeat yourself. You robot. <laughs> if you support shit, there'll be more shit. Is GTA Online, or do you just want another bully? Another, and you're just pushing it off on GTA Online, making so much money that they're not going to make another bully. They're not going to make another Max Payne or a L.A. Noir or whatever. Again, Phil, how many games did they make in the PS4, PS5 era? Let me look this up. I mean, uh, PS4, uh, Xbox One era. Uh, Rockstar. Games. Because if if it's a small amount, again, the advent of ing, how much it takes to make and how long it takes to make. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Here we go. So many in the PS2 days because it was so much easier. GTA 5, Red Dead 2, PS3 era, P uh, and 360 era, you had, the f oh, that's PlayStation 4, what am I counting that shit? Or actual consoles. Oh, dude, Midnight Club would be awesome. Grand Theft Auto 4, Red Dead Redemption, L.A. Noir, Max Payne 3. They made... Twice as many games when it when it was much less resources needed. If you support shit that's fun to play with, and it's but it still craps over the rest of the industry, it's still shit. Oh you understand? But it's fun. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. My fun got all over your game, and now you have fun. You just don't like it. You just don't like it. You just prefer other stuff. That doesn't mean this is bad. Ain't like, and I'm not saying GTA Online is a shit game. You are literally saying that by saying you're playing GTA Online. If you support, you're just going to keep getting and they're going to get all over the industry. So if GTA Online is not, what are you saying? Where does your argument go now? I'm saying what it did to Rockstar is shit. It, they okay, have, yeah, what have the thing output. Just stop saying the industry. They have half the output because it's it's so much more resources for it. Look at Red Dead Redemption. Look at how how pretty it looks and how wide open it is. Gamers keep wanting bigger, better, and prettier. So you Rockstar, can't go back. so Rockstar can't put out a, a, a original Red Dead looking game that's just kind of pretty but really big. No, look at Ubisoft. They used to release a Assassin's Creed every year. 
Now they're doing one every two, three years. People are like, in the next Smash, if there even is one, it can't be 30 characters. Who wants that? Phil, you cry about GTA, I mean, uh, 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 Call of Duty just being the same game every year because they don't have time to improve, innovate, and grow the engine and all that. Because they gotta put out a yearly release. Madden 22 is basically Madden 19. Cause they just keep putting out the same. What's NBA 2K doing now? The same over and over and over and over. They need time and a lot of people to but, make a red but, dead. Dude, you look at the supply chain stuff. He don't care. He doesn't care. He doesn't understand. But I wouldn't even care if he didn't care or understand. He's calling people idiots for it. <laughs> He's saying, how do y'all not understand? That's pissing me off. If it was Phil just being stupid, <laughs> I wouldn't care. But it's Phil being stupid while calling other people stupid literally turned rockstar into shit so if you're okay with rockstar being a big pile of duty then keep playing gta online keep buying the cars keep playing the microtransactions please by all means but that you can't then absolve yourself from any kind of responsibility because you knew you saw what was actively happening Pause. Over could you go could you go back i don't know why i went black you like knew that. no dsp uh, does that mean that uh, you're at fault for playing GTA Remastered and therefore enabling all AAA companies to remake games instead of making new ones? Oh, that's not going to be answered. Yeah, it's not going to be addressed. All what was actively happening over the course of the last yeah, that was plus years, doing you acknowledged it and you continued to participate in the practice that made that he consequence happen. Repeating this. And he doesn't even understand that he is an active participant in these things. Because just like the person said, he's buying a bunch of remakes and remasters. So does that mean that you're supporting the remakes and remasters over new GTA stuff? Especially when you yourself feel said when companies don't care, we get a GTA remake where Rockstar was just like, oh, we'll just push out some uh, product. And you supported it. And you are currently about to play it in this stream. How do you not understand that you, if you're going to be talking about people, that you are the proponent of it? Are you not Bill, being you cognizant people. of your actions like you're deriding other people for not being cognizant of theirs? He's different. You know, He's different. That, that's just what he's... His mindset is just, I'm different. I'm I'm different from those I'm people. I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. At some point in your life, start taking responsibility for your actions. Phil, you don't. Oh, my goodness. It's always the trolls. It's, it's always the people that stabbed you in the back. It's the, and, hey, I'll take care of your taxes. Not doing a single shred of, of research about, uh, Seattle taxes because all he saw was zero income tax but he didn't realize the business tax all that and he just went I got cool 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 oh. you person on the other side of, the, of USA you take care of it oh he screwed me over even if the intended consequences for your actions were not do he needs to upgrade this is like uh, going through a village with NPCs and you hear the same line <laughs> through like seven NPCs. It's just like, can we just add a few more? End <laughs> it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know how, like I said, the only thing that I can think of. Pause. I've said it. Why don't you just understand it? I don't even know Show, what else to say. Is on screen. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I said it. It's the right thing. So what else do you want? I don't know what else to say. Let me just say the Walmart thing again. Is Walmart. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this. 
is five this and a half. This channel, this video, <laughs> this life. I think it's over. <laughs> Phil has subsequently sapped all your passion. You are now officially a shield. <laughs> Oh my goodness. What? What is there? Greatness. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna say the Walmart thing. Is Walmart? <laughs> <laughs> He's got three things, uh, three examples. And I'm just going to keep repeating them. Because that's all I got. I got no examples of YouTubers. Nope. I got three examples of this happening. And I'm just saying it is happening. Not really showing anything. And you just, you just believe me. I'll just keep saying this stuff over and over and over again. And I've made my point. Because that's a situation where the people who go to Walmart and the people who shop at Walmart are not saying, listen, as a result of Walmart, Walmart again. becoming popular, I want all these other things around Walmart to die. No one's saying that. Who the hell literally goes into Walmart and says, Phil, shut today up. another small business dies? <laughs> no one. Right? No one. You're going in there because probably the prices are good compared to other stores around. You're trying to do the best thing for your family and save a buck. Probably because maybe they have a good selection. Right? You go to Walmart for your own probably very well-intended reasons. But when you shop at Walmart, you kill other businesses. Period. There's there's proof, documented evidence that this is true. You can't argue otherwise. It's 100% true that if you shop at Walmart, you will kill everything around it. No. You do not kill everything around it. You kill things that are within the same space, and that's only if they themselves cannot compete. Again, the, the nearest Walmart there is in a it's in a little strip mall. There is a five and below. There is a jewelry shop. Um, there is a Dollar Tree or Family Dollar, one of them, and a CVS. Across the street, there's a gas station, an AT and T store. A Cold Stone, Starbucks, um, I think it's Outback Steakhouse. But there's a bunch of stuff around it. Stuff that you can go into Five and Below and get something. You can go into Walmart and get the same thing. That Five and Below has been there for years. You can go into CVS and get something. You can go into Walmart and get the same thing. CVS is still selling in... Doritos, the big $4 bags. You can go to Walmart and get them for $3. They're still selling them at CVS, though. You can go into Walmart. I mean, you can go into that Dollar Tree and get the same little $1 mac and cheese that you can go into Walmart, $1 mac and cheese. They're still selling them. Shut up, Phil. You say that there's evidence, documented evidence. You do the research. There, I'm just saying that there is. You just got to go out and find it. But for now, you can either believe me or you can go out and do the research. I'm not telling you to research. You believe me and then you do the research. <clears throat> That's not how this works. The presence of a Walmart can hurt the business of smaller companies and lower wages for local workers. Are you telling me that when he said it's 100% documented, that it's not 100% documented? I'm seeing one study uh, that proves that you think Walmart is a big uh, hard way that destroy more retail jobs. In 2006, the big box retailers promised to bring in jobs, whatever. Uh, within two years of opening uh, its doors, 82 local stores went out of business. What were those local stores? What was the economy of that? Yes. What was going on in that area? You're talking about Chicago? The west side of Chicago for this? So anytime something shuts down, do we have to look at because of this or is it 
hey, maybe they weren't selling enough. Maybe something happened within the family. Vince's, that, that little pizza place uh, slash convenience store shut down. It, was that because of Walmart? Was that because of the save a lot up the street? Or did something happen within the family? Is not it it there it, there could be a correlation. There probably is a correlation. I mean, these are minute studies. Uh, with someone just going, uh, if when Walmart moves in, for every two jobs it destroys, three jobs are. I mean, two jobs it makes, three jobs are destroyed. This is a singular study I'm saying, uh, based on three people, and I need to read. I would need to research even more, but. Things go out of business all the time. What were those local businesses about? Were they a f- tire shop? That that has absolutely nothing to do with Walmart. But it's a small... Was it a car wash? Was it a checkers? Like, what were the local... Was it a restaurant? A small... Like, uh, we got Coney Islands. Was it the Coney Island or whatever the Chicago area was? Was it a pizzeria? What were the local businesses? And if the and if you go, yes, yeah, eighty seven grocery stores. You telling me there's eighty seven grocery stores and they haven't already cannibalized each other? I I don't believe that. That tries to compete with it. So how you can if you can say I don't care about that. I'm only in it because I enjoy shopping at Walmart. It's the best thing for me and my family. Then go ahead. But the point is Pause. you. It's true. Same with Amazon, though. And you use that. Mm. Dang. Mm. Dang. And he just has to accept it and be good with it. But then you can't be good with it and then decry people because you don't get bullied, too. And what's, what's the last bookshop you've seen? Because Wal- I mean, uh, Amazon just ships books. They got digital books. We'll have to live with the consequence that everything else around it will die. If you support GTA Online because you like the game, you have so much fun with it. Oh, well, I don't think the gamers should be held responsible. Yes, the gamers are part of it. They're the ones who spent the money. They're the ones who made the printing machine of money for Rockstar. So you have to live with the consequences of your actions at some point. You can't sit back and say, it ain't me, ain't my fault, ain't me, ain't me, ain't me. You're the one who spent the money. You're, it's your fault too, then, Phil. For all the things you do, for all the things you advertise. And how are you not saying this? Do not talk about them when you are... It, it'd be like, it's like all those and priests and preachers just like be a good person, blah, blah, blah. And they're scamming their and people. It's you. Yes, it is Rockstar. Absolutely, it's Rockstar. But it's also you. So with Walmart, again, Walmart does scammy things. If Walmart comes into uh into a place, they'll they'll have low prices. If a person matches those prices, Walmart will go even lower until they simply cannot compete. Absent of whatever I buy, Walmart is doing that until <laughs> they simply cannot have the capital to keep running. Phil, Rockstar is doing what Rockstar does. You do not know the internal things that Rockstar is doing and going, well, GTA 5, so we don't need... Hey, shut down everything shut else we were down. making. Just put all resources into this. We only ever need to do GTA 5 online ever again. Nothing else, y'all. And he's just completely ignoring that Red Dead 2 came out with a single player. Experience that people love. I think it was one of your top games of the year. If two stores are right next to each other and I go in one, did I kill the other? Your your actions have consequences. You need your your words have consequences, Phil. You need to think about what you're saying. He has such a small framework of his mentality when it comes to whatever he's talking about with this. Uh, oh, every time you shop at Walmart, you kill somewhere else. What? Hey, Phil, what happens if um, Walmart moves in 
Three thousand people were shopping at the local place. Three thousand people continue to shop at the local place, but the local place has to go out of business because the stores keep slashing the prices at Walmart. Because now five thousand people are going over there. They didn't lose any business. Nothing went down, but their par- profit margins are going lower because they're scared that people will go to the Walmart, so they start slashing prices. Still, Walmart's fault. Still, your fault. Still, Still my fault for going somehow. It's somehow my fault. <laughs> he'll, he'll think of a way to make it my fault. I, I believe that Walmart kills businesses with no plan for what they uh want to entail. Now, they're absolutely going to kill regular just in mom and pop store businesses. But I feel like a lot of what it kills are people that are just like, I opened up a shop. I have, like, with those 82 stores, how long were they in business and how profitable were they before Walmart we, moved we in? Need those there numbers. is no, from this one study I saw, there was no evidence of what happened there. Because they could have already been a failing business and then Walmart just put the stamp on it. We, there's, no, there's nothing. It's just the number. What if they're a bead shop? What if they're a hair salon? 82 businesses. We don't know what the businesses were. Were they the businesses competing with Walmart? And what entails local business? Within the area of the Walmart or within like a 10 mile radius of a Walmart? Because how are 82 businesses? 82. That's Local businesses. In one west side, in the west side of Chicago. Because of a Walmart. I, I, I have a hard time believing it. It's 82 grocery stores. That is 82 foot lockers. It is 82 Payless. You're a part of it, man. You can't, you, again, this is something that you realize when you get older. When you start seeing things He's, in the big picture. He, I, in the last 13 years, I've seen the game industry dude. completely change. Because things cost more. You see so many less JRPGs than you did in the PS1 and the PS2 days because they could not uh, move towards that HD stuff because it costs so much more money to be HD than a 480p on a screen. Than pixel graphics. It costs so much more money. That's why you, you used to be able to get a game every 16 months out of a company. Now it takes three, four years for one developer. One guy in his garage could do it in in, uh, seven months could make a game. Now it's taking people two, three years. I saw a dude, uh, he was just like, me and my friends worked on this during our off time for the last five years. It takes all so much time. completely change so many things like gta 3 do you think that rockstar is going to make another game like that i don't even know like what 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 is the difference between gta 3 and gta 5 phil a game like what (laughs) an open world grand theft auto game they have it with five nah it's over it's they're never gonna make another one i think or anything like it maybe gta online i'm serious gta 6 Maybe GTA He's Online. An was- He's an idiot. GTA 6 will have GTA Online. Or they'll upgrade GTA Online. But GTA 6 will be its own thing. Why Phil. Why would they call something GTA 6? No if one- it's just some big old patch for GTA. Just some expansion for GTA Mom, Online. You know Moth's gonna come to it and be like, Hey, single player. Yeah, all this fun stuff. Oh, it's just online stuff? After the smash hit of five, you think they're going to do that. They're going to either migrate all that GTA uh, online stuff now to the new engine or the new graphics or what have you. Or they're going to move on from the original GTA online. Uh, Maybe you can get some of your items from the original to the new one transfer some stuff. But it's going to be a new game because there's supposed to be a new Call of Duty Warzone coming out. Not an expansion, a whole new type of Warzone thing. Elements in it, because that they now think that's how you make money. They've been taught 
Yeah, but, they, that's, that's that's how they think. I know how they think. They've been taught that this is how you make money, and this is the only way that you make money. Uh, Red Dead didn't make any money. Red Dead Redemption 2 did not have a complete, robust single-player campaign. It just didn't make money. This it was is, just an online game with story elements. This is the only way that you can make money. Sorry. Rip everything. I, the gamers, this is what we want because here's our money, you know? So GTA 6 might be trash. It might be this. GTA Online, man. We made GTA 5 might have been the the last time we ever see a true single player game from Rockstar. You are a fing idiot. When we just had Red Dead 2, dude. Why would they completely drop? Why? He for is what a foot for, for what purpose? He they? is an idiot. Just just drop it and just do this forever. I cannot believe a man this stupid. <laughs> Has this much renown? Yes, I can. Cause, yeah, cause there's people like Joe Rogan. Yeah. What am I talking about? Trump and stuff. Was president. What am I talking about? America stored the capital. Will not accept responsibility for that because you played GTA Online. You threw a bunch of money into it. But you said, oh, I'm not part of the problem. You're just ignorant. All right. Do you accept responsibility for Amazon? Do you accept responsibility for all the things you buy and ship oh, wow. and all the things you consume? Do you accept responsibility for the atrocities in China when you buy a, a, a Xbox or a PlayStation at manufacturing plants and stuff? Do you accept the responsibility of uh, supporting remakes and remasters over new games? Do you accept this responsibility, Phil? Everything that you buy. You need to think about that. Do you accept the responsibility when you eat a piece of meat that somebody had to, something had to die for that meat? That you could pot be potentially killing the planet through the, the slaughterhouses and greenhouse gases and stuff. Do you accept the responsibility that when hey, you drive a Hey, where's your car, electric car? Do you accept responsibility that you're killing the planet? Every single time that you start up your car. Do you accept that It contributes to the the ruining of the planet. And not one person, but all of us, which is your argument. Oh, I'm just one fact. person. Who cares if I got a gas guzzler? No, no. I'm sorry. You're not. You're never sorry. Oh, so Chicken Man re-upped his membership for five months. Said, do you like to be the writer or the saddle? Uh, I don't even know what that means. And Zoya the Super Jazz says, you're to blame for AAA devs just remaking games? Yes. Absolutely. Because I keep rebuying, I keep buying them. <clears throat> right? I keep buying. Hey, you're accepting the responsibility. Of games, and that's why they keep remaking them. I will take, I will take responsibility for that and say, yes, I'm part of the problem. Yes. But you keep, so, so, what, what's wrong with somebody with GTA just going, yeah, I'm the problem. When they have to sit here and listen to you five times, say that you fin suck. I'm not getting my game because of you. Yeah, I'm the problem. Incidentally, I'm happy that they remade a lot of the AAA games because. Incidentally, I'm happy they remade a lot of the AAA games. Incidentally, I'm happy that they keep adding content to GTA and is focusing on that. I'm doing it right. I'm doing it right. I'm you are 100 percent correct, dude. I, I'm good because what I'm doing is doing it right. The exact same situation. You are 100 percent correct, dude. I missed out on them back in the day. I'm I missed out on them being new releases. You know. So. Not for GTA! You played them like four times! Whew. I'm happy that they've been re-released so I can actually enjoy it. <laughs> Alright. Boon it up. That little in sip was the most refreshing... Just a Sprite commercial. All right, here we go. You can finally start the game. So many people kept contributing and asking me questions, I couldn't stop the pre-stream. You can finally start playing the game. <laughs> okay. 
terrible. King. Money, money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Money, money. <laughs> Yeah, he's an idiot. It's it's shocking. Is it? I just want to see if he said anything after. Yeah, money. It's just the money. Okay. Yeah. Um. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what? I'll agree with this one. This was this is a bad. One. Didn't I say this was the worst f- video Phil had ever done, and we had to do it? My goodness. And the train never stops. When will it ever? He says stupid stuff daily. Stuff that on its own, just just by itself, put it on another YouTuber. They're like, what the? F- did they? And for it would have blew just, up. It's just, oh, this is just another dumb feel stuff. It's thing. just another day. You would have seen them too many two minute clips all over YouTube. Every one of them is a shill. You directly contribute to the ruining of game development when you play GTA Online. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, but for Phil is just like ah, oh, listen, ah, <laughs> yeah, terrible. All right, we're out of here. Um, probably no regular revisited this week. Yeah. Maybe we'll More see. Than likely, but uh, we got the stream on Saturday, and then we're gonna watch the Royal Rumble, and it's gonna be awful. We can't Why wait. Why is it on Saturday? Uh, they moved almost all their pay per views to Saturday because AEW. Does it on Saturdays? Wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, so is it still six for starting or seven? Oh no no no! Oh uh, yeah, I gotta move it up now because I forgot the rumble. Yeah. So we're probably gonna do it about two, maybe three. It should. I mean, we can we can do it at like four or five. Yeah, it shouldn't take too long. Yeah, we're we're in the last little dro- dregs of it. We we talk about memberships for a while. We peace out. So yeah. We can, okay. We do four or five. We don't need to do it that super early. Yeah, four sounds good. Cause uh, at best we we're done with the video in uh two hours, and we get some membership talk and some just talking with the fans. At worst, it takes us three hours because it's somebody not. uh because somebody says something completely stupid. It's not. And we go on a thirty five minute rant. <laughs> nah, nah, it's fine. You never know. This took three hours. How many? How much time did we have left? Like twenty minutes. Mine was like twenty minutes, but that's Phil. Phil, Phil something Phil different. is a vortex. I said that before, and I will say it whenever the next time we'll go back to this pieces. Yeah, we're we're done for at least a month and a half. <laughs> this was a bad one. He needs to say something markedly stupid again. So uh, we. So can... I'll see y'all next week. No, 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 no. Not just regular Phil stupid. I'll this see is... y'all next week. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>